Cool, I uh, moved the uh, camera. <laughs> I bumped it. I uh, got awesome. Freaking awesome. Let's try something different. Here we go. Welcome to the stream, everybody. This might, uh, I, I hope all the levels are good. Can you, uh, hopefully you can hear me right. Here we go. No guitar sound. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Newbie. How y'all doing? So, no guitar sound? That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Can't hear the guitar. Anybody? I was trying something different, and apparently it's not working out very well. We can hear plucking. Hey, that's something. That is something, man. I'll tell you what. Ah, uh, yeah. Well. Can you hear guitar sounds now? Anything now? If not, we will do away with the drums and be done with that. Yeah, we hear it. Okay, whatever. Ah. <sighs> I, I just, you know, I, I don't know. I just, I, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't trust myself doing things anymore. <clears throat> Sorry about that if I blew your eardrums. Now you're going to hear some guitar sounds. How's that? Can you hear me? You can hear the guitar? Everything good now? Please tell me. Let's turn that off. I was trying to put some... You can't hear the guitar now? That's going to there. That's going. Come on. What? Can you hear the guitar now? What is going on, man? What in the hell is going on? I swear. Awesome. Okay. Well, that's great, man. <sighs> well, let me retrace my steps because, you know, I'm pretty stupid. <laughs> I need to be more prepared for this stuff. Okay, so we see the guitar going to the amplifier, correct? Can you hear my voice? Everybody can hear my voice, correct? It's really getting old. Hopefully you can hear my voice. Yes, we can hear it. It's not plugged in. Plugged into there. That's plugged into there. That runs into there. Like it always does. <laughs> oh my god, what have I done? Okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I literally, I was like sitting here for like an hour or two going, man, this thing's going to be great. Because I was going to have drums and everything hooked up and things were going to be awesome, but I hope you guys are good. Okay, so let's get all this crap out of here because we don't need that now. Okay, so that goes right into there. I don't know why you're not hearing the guitar. Very odd. I don't understand it. Because I literally 
I have sound on my end for some reason. <laughs> this is great, man. <laughs> Just great. Uh, do you have a tuner on now? I do not have a tuner on. What the heck is that? Why is this not doing that? I don't understand it. Hang on a minute. What's this going down? That's that. Uh, that's for the headphones. That's going into there. That's for that microphone. Okay. Pretty cool stuff. Hmm. Like, I literally see the meters and everything rolling straight up. I don't get it here. I'm going to my settings real quick. Recording, go to audio. It's uh, good there. Da, 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 yada, yada, yada. Okay. Still nothing, huh? Well, this is amazing. I'm glad you guys tuned in for such a flubbed up thing here. <laughs> this is so stupid, man. I don't... I, I really don't get it. Let me go into my... Um, system here. Just the acoustic guitar. Okay, well... That's neat. Hang on just a second. I'm going to... Oh my god. Maybe I just need to reset. Maybe, yeah? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? tell you buddies I tell you it's a good time man I'm glad you joined for this dumb 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 hang on what the heck here Let's see if I can see what's going on on there oh my god <laughs> oh, I swear well everybody doing good nice talking to you We'll get this figured out, hopefully, and, um, you know, go from there. So it's <laughs> this is the best live streams. Yeah, real life. You got that right. God bless. Wow, what is going on here? What? <laughs> ah, let me uh, let me switch some stuff there. Let me uh, move this over. Give me a minute. <laughs> this is great. You're right, it probably is.
Yeah. I do not know what I'm doing. La 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 la. I don't think the guitar is going to matter. Honest to God, because uh, if I get over here. I can prove that the amplifier and this is working. Ready? Yeah. Let's turn it off, turn it back on. Maybe it's being stupid. I don't know. <sighs> now you can hear it. Yeah. Well, yeah, you could hear it that way. Sounds like crap. I want it direct in. Can you hear anything now? Because I am really baffled. I This is the way I have it all always hooked up. Nope. Awesome. This is great, man. Oh, well, you know, hey, trust me, it's a good guitar. <laughs> if you watched the video, you know. Oh, my God, what is going on? Go back into my settings. Audio. Uh, you know what? that changes eh eh maybe hang on maybe I forgot to set that let's see what happens here got anything please tell me you got you got guitar sound I just forgot to switch the, I forgot to switch the, uh, ah, <laughs> ready, you're fired, and you're fired, buddy, you guys don't need to be in here anymore, you can get your stuff and get the hell out of here, take Scully with you, because I know Scully was behind this, whoever said that, thank you, thank you so much, uh, uh, Scully is in trouble, um, so yeah, here we are, this is the Scorpion, Leo James, this is a budget-friendly, easy, uh, on-your-wallet guitar. I'm almost afraid to hook everything back in the way I had it. Do I dare hook everything? Do I hook the drums back up? Do we want to do that at all? I mean, you know, it's kind of cool. This is what you would have heard with the drums. You would have heard... Okay, you guys win. I'll hook it up. But first, let me grab a drink. Ah, let's get a swig of some energy here. Yeah. All right. Now, 
<clears throat> Hopefully we don't screw anything else up, right? I gotta remember. <laughs> I'm gonna remember how I hooked this up now. <laughs> Where's this? There it is. Okay. Okay, so this, I do believe. Wait a second. What did this go to? Ah, that went to here. Don't you worry about a thing, guys. Okay? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So that's good there. Um, now what? No. That did not go that way. Because that... Yes, that did go that way. <laughs> okay. Now, what the hell is this for? That's an extra cord I didn't need. Okay. Nah, there we go. Ah, ha, ha, ha. All right. So then, I think that went into here. Oh, this is just this is just awesome science, man. Awesome science. Hey, Donnie, how you doing? Sam's budget guitar. Sorry, guys. And De Niro, what's up? Yeah, this has been a struggle, man, since <laughs> since it started. Dwight Bailey, how you doing, brother? I can't remember. I might have said hi to you. Um. Okay, so. Yeah, we unplug that. We plug that in there. And we plug this in here. And we turn it back on. Okay, now. Let's try not to blow each other's eardrums out. Okay, I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. How's the drum sound? Are they decent? Let's do a couple sound checks here. Make sure the guitar still works. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Guitar still works. My ears do not, but yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's the here's the drums. Does that sound decent uh, as far as hearing the drums with the guitar? One louder than the other, decent, okay, whatever. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Hope you're okay, buddy. It's all right. I, I just blew my brains out with the sound in my head here. <laughs> Pretty cool, okay. All right, uh, we'll just go back to what I was doing right when we started. Okay, let's let's let, let, let's pretend like we're starting again. Ready? Hey, you guys, we're live. Here we go.
we got it to work. So yeah, hope that sounded pretty good. Um, killer guitar, dude. Uh, when I seen it pop up for eighty nine bucks, I seen this for a while, and I'm like, man, should I or shouldn't I? It's like one hundred and twenty bucks, I think. And uh, I just never jumped on it. And I thought, you know what? When I seen it drop to eighty nine bucks, I figured they were just trying to push them on out. And um, so I jumped, and I got lucky, and I got it. And uh, there's no more available. Sorry. At the time when I did the video, honest to God, there was six of them available. And uh, it sat there for a couple days that way. And then once I got the video done and edited, literally they were gone. Even the... Actually, I checked today. Uh, there's the uh, Sunburst model was still there. Um, same thing here, but that one wasn't $89. That was 120 still. I don't know why. But... Uh... <laughs> Right, yeah, same. You can't go wrong for the price, dude. Oh my god. I mean, those were genuine reactions in that video. Uh, I was expecting it not to sound like it does and play like it does. I was surprised because 89 bucks. And this is like, this isn't like, you know, the other Leo Jameses that I got that are $200 or whatever. This is like, this would be equivalent to like the Epiphone Les Paul special, you know, just like I said in the video. I had to check on Amazon, Amazon as well, and none left. Ah, sorry, buddy. Um, like I said, that brown one, I'll tell you what you do. Um, what did I type in? I think I put Leo James SG, because they got SG models there, which I'm <clears throat> getting an SG soon. <clears throat> we'll do a video on that one. Maybe a live stream, I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you go into that, or maybe the single cut, it might pop up as you know the uh, Sunburst model, or Starburst, or <laughs> Starburst. You know what I'm missing? Ah, yeah, I'll get it later. <laughs> but this play is just as good as any of the Leah James that I have, of course. But, I mean, this plays like an Epiphone. No, no lie. Plays like an Epiphone. Like a high-end Epiphone, you know what I mean? Like, I'm talking, well, not high-end. Let's go around the four or $500 Epiphone range. Um, the frets, like, I mean, my God, dude. I can't get the guitar in there close enough because I'm going to, like, knock something over. But they're rolled over, man. They're, they're perfect. I, I thought for sure when I got this that, you know, I'd have some kind of issues. The only thing that I did do, I raised up uh, this side of the bridge slightly because there's a little bit of string buzz on that low e um but yeah it's it's awesome De Niro says i have the leah james sgm white do you like that man because uh you know right, we got an sg coming so let's hope it's a good one <clears throat> yeah i've seen the sgs for a while that's where i seen these at they popped up like at the end of the row because you had red black white and then it was the it was the um Oh, the sunburst, and then you had this, and that's where I seen this, you know, for a while, and then I just happened to pop on one day for some reason, and $89, I'm like, okay, we're buying it. Uh, Sam says, I'm going to get a budget, get the budget Harley Benton version, and stick a Scorpion sticker on it. <laughs> Yeah, I, that's one thing I have not done is, what is going on here? Hang on a minute. <clears throat> the wire's everywhere. It looks like spaghetti on my floor with all these cords and stuff. Um, yeah, I have not tried a Harley Benton yet, man. I don't know what I'm waiting on, but I will tell you, the guy, the, everybody's in here, we're going to see more. Uh, you're going to see a couple different brands here soon, okay? Um, I do have a couple different guitars coming. Uh, so you guys will see that soon. <clears throat> I just wanted to try to feel the field a little bit because I heard some other good stuff about some things. Um, one for sure is coming. The other one, not quite sure yet. <laughs> and 
And that's something else too. These tuners are just run the mill type tuners. Like on all the other Leo James I got, um, it really stays in tune really well. It's uh I do not own a Gretsch. I don't know if anybody does in here. If you do, uh, let Sam know. <clears throat> I've heard good things about Gretsch guitars, honestly. Um, when I was at NAMM 2020, I did see they had a big display of them. It's funny because they're like hanging from this big, I don't know, canopy thing they had. And it was all hanging down. They look pretty cool, though. I've never really picked one up and played one. <clears throat> Yeah, the new West Creek guitars are pretty awesome. Um, so the two two brands that I'm looking at, uh, the one that I got coming, I think is a Sin Star. Pretty badass looking guitar. A lot of good reviews on it. Uh, and there's another one. I'm not going to tell you colors or anything like that. Uh, the other one I'm looking at is a, uh, I think it's Festley. I think it's the name. I've heard they were really good too. So we'll try those out. <laughs> <clears throat> Sam says, uh, let's, oh, okay, wait, riffs, reviews, and mods, uh, IYV is a great budget brand, I own around six of them, oh, cool, yeah, I've heard about them, I and mean, I've seen them, seen plenty of those on, uh, like Amazon and things, uh, I have seen a few of those that I really, <laughs> really wouldn't mind having, uh, I am a sucker for a, uh, you know, single cut guitar, you know me, that's what I'd like, I guess. I mean, I don't have any problem with a regular type of other guitars, you know, but I just feel more at home with a uh, Les Paul style, I guess. <clears throat> Sam says, I have a choice of a Harley Benton uh, 35BK semi-hollow or a Gretsch. Man. If you're going on just name value itself with the heritage, I'm not sure how long Harley Benton's been around, but I know Gretsch has been around for a little while. Um, I guess it would depend on price and what you're willing to pay. I mean, if you're roughly the same price, go for it. But, and I'm not putting Harley Benton down at all. Uh, I haven't played either one of them. So, um, yeah, that's, that's a tough one, man. That's where you just gotta, you know, hope for the best. If anybody in here has a Gretsch or, uh, you can vouch for a Harley Benton, help Sam out, man. Let him know. Yep, Harley Benton is one seventy seven, and the Gretsch is four ninety nine. Now, is the Harley Benton similar to? You know, I could look this up on my phone while we're sitting here. <laughs> Let me look it up. Let's see what we got here. So we're looking at a. Uh... Hang on. Hey, there's that sound we like to hear. Hear that staticky noise? Yeah, that's really nice. I think it's my phone. The M4 Harley Bentons. That's cool. I know a lot of people own Harley Bentons, man. They love them. Um, let's see. What was I doing? We're looking up a what? We're looking up a Harley Benton. Whoa, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Shoot, everything just shifted on me. Harley Benton 35 BK. <clears throat> Benton thirty five. Uh, let's see. BK right there. Is it a vintage series? Hollow body. Hmm. Hollow body electric guitar. Ah. Okay, okay, I see what you got here, Sam. Oh, boy. Yes, I love cookies. 
Okay. Is this what you're talking about, buddy? That guitar right there? That looks pretty nice. I like that. I wasn't I didn't pour it. I swear. I swear I didn't pour it. Well, it kinda sounds like it, but it's a stupid chair. Okay, that's cool, man. That's Harley Benton 177. And let's look at the other one. It's a Gretsch G2422. Let's see. Gretsch Guitar G2422 Platinum. Ah, okay, four. Did you say it was $4.99? Okay. That one? Okay. What about this here? Hang on. As soon as this head top stop touching the strings, that's what happens. Ah, is this the other one? Oh, maybe if the phone gets in there right. That one there. That's a nice one. That's five hundred bucks. You know what? Quite honestly, dude, I would probably unless you can afford it. I'd probably go Harley Benton. Three forty six to four ninety nine. Cool. That's the Phantom Metallic. I didn't see that on there. I'm sure it was in there. Maybe it's in the other selection. But that's the same style, I assume, correct? Yeah, I don't don't see it on here, but yeah. Um if you can afford the Gretsch, get the Gretsch, by all means. But if you want to save money and you're probably going to get a decent, really good guitar, you know, a lot of people vouch for uh, Harley Benton's, man. They seem to be a really good... Oh, it's on Reverb. I'm sorry. That was. I just went to Google and that popped up and I seen four ninety nine. so... Hey, Mr. Boldini, my boy, my son, is in the house. I might get to Harley Benton. Hang on a minute, there's something... Sorry, De Niro, I missed you, brother. Uh, I'm doing a guitar kit. Hey. What you doing, pal? Spoiler alert, maybe doing one soon <clears throat> on the channel. Ah, uh, yeah. Did I say something? Hmm. But I'm not trying to be greedy or, you know, whatever. But, uh, you know, every little thing counts, guys. Um. You know, going to the merch shop, buying something small, or, you know, you got Super Chats, you got um, just donations to the channel in general, whatever. All that goes to everything. Watching the videos, liking the videos, all that stuff. Uh, you know, I don't get much <laughs> at all from it, really. I hardly anything. Uh, but, you know, every little thing counts, and then I can put it towards that stuff. And, uh, you know, maybe we can look into a Harley Benton at some point, or whatever. You know, uh, I did say Harley Benton guitar kit. Oh, sweet. You did a Harley Benton guitar kit? Yeah, I forgot they do have um, guitar kits. I forgot about that. Uh, you might get to Harley Benton. Bro, I would. Um, you've seen some of the Leo James stuff that I've got. I mean, they're like high quality, uh, really, you know, they look like a high-end Epiphone, you know. And I mean, you know, Epiphone anymore, the high-end Epiphones are just as good as Gibson's, in my opinion. But, uh, but yeah, if you can get something very close, and, you know, go for it, bro. Hey, Sue Wilson in the house. How you doing, Sue? <laughs> New shirt logo. No, this is actually an old shirt logo. Had this for quite a while. It's in the shop. You know, guys are interested, go pick one up. <clears throat> uh, it was the CST24, similar to our... Oh, okay, cool. PRS, all right. Nice. That would be cool. What are you into, Mr. Boldini? Thank you for joining. said it doesn't go out of tune but while we're sitting here it went out of tune it's weird but when i was playing it's fine right 
I'm getting the, I'm trying to get the Billy Duffy sound. Oh, okay. Nothing wrong with that. Let me tune this. Guitar player from the cult. Thank you. I was like, I remember the name, but I was like, where's he from? Uh, I couldn't remember what band he was from. Okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I like the cult. Man, look at this. Boldini, man. I need some beard oil, bro. Please, for the love of God. Anyway. Um, yeah. I was doing this earlier, since Sue and Boldini's in here. Ready? Ready, guys? Ready? Here we go. Yeah, hey man, you know Donnie, I am. It's it's uh, it's a struggle, but we're trying. You know, you never know. You never know. <clears throat> Sam says, "Rock that guitar, or rock yeah, rock that guitar, Dave." That's what we are doing, my brother. That's what the way out are doing. But uh, yeah, it's 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 kind of a struggle with uh, Leo James. You know, I mean, I've brought stuff up, uh, but you know, we have. Uh, I guess you would. I, we're on the line of that brand partnership type thing, you know. They offer me really good deals, and I can't pass it up. So, I mean, why not, right? And they're great guitars. They really are. I mean, this thing is like, this would be, if I had something like this when I started out, like literally, this is 89 bucks that I got got this for, right? Even at 120 bucks, this is a, this is a steal, Okay. Uh, if I had this when I was starting out, because, you know, I'd go to pawn shops or whatever and, you know, find a beat-up guitar in a pawn shop. And sometimes, back then, it was like 90 to to $100. It's like, what? And, and this is, like, straight from, like, out-of-the-box brand new. 89 bucks. If I had something like this back then, it was just, it'd be amazing, you know? If I started on something like this, it's crazy, dude. <laughs> And rolling off the volume, you know. It could be a little bit better on the, on the roll off, honestly. Yeah, they are great guitars. I own a couple of them. <laughs> yep, why not? I mean, daggone, man. Wow, only seven people in here? What's up? Come on. Where's everybody at? Can you guys share this out? Uh, if it's possible. I'm trying to get as many people in here as possible. We're trying to grow that channel, man. Remember, if we can get to 4K by the end of the year, we're going to do a giveaway. I'm not going to tell you what, what it would be, but we're going to do a giveaway and, uh, you know, might be pretty cool. You never know. So, yeah, share it out if you guys can. That'd be awesome. Harley Benton version is called Student Series, and it's and it costs eighty eight British pounds. <laughs> I don't know pounds to American money, but um, probably over here be over a hundred bucks, I would imagine. But still ain't bad. That's cool. Plus ten pounds for shipping. Well, uh, I got I got ten pounds. We're good. <laughs> That's cool, Sam. Oh, let's see here. I'm gonna 
gonna try something else. Um, go here, down to there. <laughs> That's cool. That's pretty cheap. <laughs> That'd be, uh, be worth checking out, man. Drinking the old orange rock star. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Ah. 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 Dwight Bailey, yes, sir. I'm assuming you're still okay. Hey, hey, Dwight. Um, can you tell me? Is I haven't seen anything lately. I haven't been on like you know. He hasn't popped up. Kind of forgot about him. Uh, Metalhead Hippie. Is he still doing his shows and stuff? Um. I haven't seen that for quite a while, actually. My senior name, it just reminds me of Metalhead Hippie. I didn't know. Hopefully it's okay. Yes, cheers. Yes, cheers, De Niro. Oh, yes. Uh, let's see. It's black single cut high gloss. I got you, Sam. 89 bucks. Wow. Yes. Bucky B. What is up, Bucky B? I just noticed. Just noticed you popped in, man. <laughs> Hey guys, if you're here and you have not subscribed, I really do appreciate the subscribe uh, button being hit. That would be awesome. Uh, we're trying to get to 4K by the end of the year. Do a nice giveaway. That would be, uh, for a lot of people, it wouldn't be a big deal. <laughs> you know, some people can start YouTube channels and, you know, get 10,000 subs within two years. Uh, I'm quite the opposite. I've been around for two years and got 4,000 subs, so it's okay. He's still going strong. That's crazy. I'll have to make sure. I know I subscribed to him. I used to get notifications all the time, but you know, YouTube's stupid. Trust me. Actually, guys, you would not pick something out from my Christmas list. What are you talking about, Sue? Oh, you mean for me, for you. Yeah, I'll pick you out a couple guitars you can get me. Pedals, whatever. But yeah, I'll have to check... Um, may want to check YouTube subscription notices. Right. Yeah, I, they change stuff, man, all the time. I actually, if you did not know, um, I did a, I did a video on, uh, the Octonaut from Interstellar Audio. Jeez, let me turn that down. From Interstellar Audio and, and the craziest thing, man. I don't know if YouTube just couldn't take it or what. Uh, but, you know, it's all alien-based things. And, you know, that was the first video I lost views. It literally got up to almost 200 views. 
and then like every night I lost 80 views on that video. So I was like, now it's just barely struggling. I got down to like 112 views, and then it starts slowly going back up. It's like 122. I'm like, wow. But we had a good bounce back with this one. Hey. Oh, Sam. Okay, cool. You sub to uh, Metalhead Hippie? He, he's a good dude, man. He does a lot of cool shows. Uh, if you are if you play music and stuff, um, you know, he'll play your stuff on there and things like that. Um, you know, it's kind of like a podcast type thing. You know, you don't really have to watch, per se. Pretty cool. You all have to, uh, I'll have to look him up, man. I hadn't seen it for a while. But yeah, I know what it's like, because like some videos do really good. Like this last video I did with this, it did insane. Yeah, I lost some views. Yeah. I don't understand why. I don't, I do not get it. You tell me, Dwight. <laughs> you tell me. Man, my hat's crooked. What's going on with my head here? Eh. I swear. And then it's like, everything's opposite of what it is here. Uh, you know, I know I can switch it, but then I get even more confused. Anyway. Yeah, how do you lose views? Anybody know? I don't get it. Love it. That song always rocks. Headed to Pumpkin Walk. Oh, that's right. You have fun, Wendy. Uh, <clears throat> Sue, thanks for joining in. Have a good time tonight. <clears throat> Something to do with the algorithm. I know. It's just, it's crazy the way it works. Or a computer glitch, right. But I mean, most of my pedal videos, man, I, I can guarantee I can get at least two, three interviews per pedal, you know, and it's like, now that that one just kind of, it started out strong, but after the first day, you know, like I said, it got like 198, 197, and then the next, I went to bed that night, woke up the next day, I checked it, I'm like, oh man, I'm probably like 240, maybe 250, it went down to like one. 114, 113, something like that. I'm like, what? And what was even funnier, I lost like seven more views throughout that day. And then it started going back up gradually. So I think it's like 123, 124. It's, it's, it's pretty crazy. things indeed. But uh yeah, as far as future videos, we will be doing a couple more Leo James soon. And I d hang on a minute, what's that noise? Training, training, beautiful Ohio training. Anyway, uh, we will do do some more Leo James guitar uh, unboxings here soon. Um, got some things in the works there. Uh, got some more pedal videos to do, things like that. Uh, got a neat little, I don't know, Azar sent over a little amplifier for me to do a review on. Um, it's just like a little tiny little amp, I think. It's, I didn't even opened it. It's in a box over there. Um, but yeah, so we got a lot of things and I'm trying to, um, you know, figure out a way to get these, uh, subscriptions upped. So we'll talk more on that in a second. Who's your favorite lead guitarist? Ah, <sighs> man, there's a mix. Okay. Um, you know, I'm in it and it's funny you say lead guitarist because I'm not a lead player. I don't play lead. I would love to play lead. 
but my favorite lead guitarist, um, not in any particular order. I'm going to go maybe top th top four or five, okay? Not in any particular order. Of course, we're going to go with Ed Eddie Van Halen. We're going to go with Zach Wilde, of course. George Lynch. George Lynch is another awesome one. Um, Nuno Betancourt. And... Uh, I mean, we could throw Slash in there, too, you know? Um, as far as rhythm guitar, we want to talk about rhythm. We're going to go Zach Wilde, of course. And, uh, man, just like, you know, George Lynch. I mean, dude, George had some awesome riffs, man. Just amazing. Got my back to him. <laughs> Thanks, Donnie. Appreciate you, bro. <laughs> Hey Mitch Hammond, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hello. Hello, hello. Yep, all great, man. Nuno is a sick guitar player. Oh my god. Hey, that's one of those. He he's he's a breed of his own. <laughs> I wish I could even play like a fraction. I'm talking when I say a fraction, I mean like a like a tenth of a percent of of, of an eighth. The, of what he could do. Unbelievable. Like, He Man Woman Hater. Have you ever heard that song? That just, that riff at the beginning. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god. It's, it's nuts. I wish, you know, hindsight being 2020, because I'm 50, <coughs> 50 years old now. Anyway, um, I wish when I was younger I would have took more time. Um, maybe to take the time to take lessons and things like that. Uh, you know, because when you're younger, man, you just absorb all this stuff and it's so much easier for you. You know, when you get wrapped up later in life, you got other things going on, you got a job, you got stress with bills, you got, ah, my God, you got to keep up on a house, you got everything going on. It's just so hard, man, and time just is not there. But, uh, you know, because I'm always seeing stuff like on TikTok or Instagram, where, you know, you got like a six-year-old kid just, just playing Eddie stuff. It's like... It's like, what are you doing? How are you, how are you doing that? It's, it's crazy. crispy <laughs> megadeth man i haven't played megadeth forever oh man um wow i can't even remember what i used to play wasn't anything major uh tell me about it i'm 58 and trying to learn how to play yeah i spent a lot of my time just messing around <laughs> still do <laughs> still do um, but as far as Megadeth, Crispy, I, I just, God, I'm trying to think of Megadeth songs now, but, uh, wow, oh, man, I don't, I don't even want to attempt it, I don't even want to attempt it, man, I just, I don't even want to attempt that, but Megadeth's an awesome band, uh, for sure, started playing when I was 49, and 54 now, and how's that going, Sam, pretty good, I hope, I mean, some people pick it up quicker, you know, I got, like, Holy Wars, Tornado, and Souls Hanger. Yeah. Um, what am I thinking? You know, uh, like 99 Ways to Die, uh, Symphony of Destruction. Um, oh, my God. Of course, Hanger 18. Hmm. 
Euthanasia, that whole CD was, that was pretty awesome to me. I like that one. That whole album was just awesome. Cryptic Writings wasn't too bad. Um, Symphony of Destruction was pretty good. Hey, Bucky B. Take care, man. Thanks for joining. I appreciate you, Bo. Uh, still rough around the edges. I'm still, yeah. I know. Yeah, me too, man. I don't, I don't, I got problems with my finger. I think I have issues with my fingers because I can't, like, that's, I can only spread, like, four frets. And I've seen guys that do, like, you know, from here to all the way up here. It's like, how do you do that, man? It just, like, breaks my fingers. I can't do that. And, you know, normal people play like this. You know, they'll play the, they'll play the chords like that. I don't. I use my pinky. It feels comfortable. That's the way I started playing. I guess that's just the way it is. Hey, Mitch, short sausage fingers. Yeah, it's that makes it difficult. I can play any Megadeth song, rhythm guitar. Awesome, man. I play, play for one year, but just can't sweep pick. <laughs> I'll never be able to sweep pick. I can pour a bunch of picks on the floor and then sweep them. If you're talking about that, I'm the guy. Uh, sweep picking, never. Yeah, forget it. it it's like... A whole new world to me when, when you go uh, I mean, I got the, the uh, what is it, blues pentatonic. That's pretty simple. It was. <sighs> Sounds fine what you play there. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Dwight Bailey, thumbs up. Yeah, I mean, I maybe could learn learn it a bit, but takes so much time. Yeah, I know, I know. It does. It, and you know, you got all these scales, man. If you break down scales, that's like a whole freaking Pandora's box of sh crap. You know what I mean? Because I. When I first started messing, when I first, <laughs> when I first started messing around back in the day, uh, you know, I didn't know much. All I knew, all I knew was, you know, your basics, just uh, A chord, haha, <laughs> A chord, D, and what is this? It's, it's a G, but without going, you know, doing all that. I always admit that second string. This is the only chords that I ever use. Rest of it's just like power chords. That's why you gotta throw in some harmonics, the way you look cool, you know? <laughs> but anyway, so I looked up chords one day. I'm looking at them, I'm like, what is this kind of, like... You know, you got, and then, oh, wait a minute, and then you got all the scales, right? You got, like, a Dorian mode, uh, uh, I don't know. There's, like, so many different scales. I'm like, are you serious right now? It took me all of two or three minutes, and I'm like, yeah, we're not going to mess with that. Not going to do it. <clears throat> Papa Blue, what is up, man? Welcome.
retired three years ago, I told myself I need to improve technique before arthritis <laughs> and Alzheimer's. <laughs> yes, that is a good idea. And you know what else I struggle with too, man? Alternate picking. I just, I cannot... I can do that, just... But I'm really jealous of the guys that just like, you know, back and forth, just... But they, they make it sound better, you know. I don't know any theory. I don't either. I'm just learning uh, Sabaton and Megadeth. Okay. Sabaton. I don't know if I've heard of Sabaton. Hmm. Uh, for every year, sometimes with Tab and sometimes uh, by ear. Yes, I've, I've played by ear for years. Um, that's probably part of my problem. <laughs> uh, but there are YouTubers that I do follow uh, that I've watched for like six or seven years and they, they've picked up the guitar Pretty much when they started YouTube, and now they're just like blowed up. Um, I can't remember her name. JJ, JJ something. She's like a redhead or whatever. She is amazing. She, I think she. I don't know. If she's from Sweden. She's from. She's on the other side of there somewhere. But she's awesome. I I watched her from the very beginning. She just. She picked it up and took off. She just went crazy. Of course, she was younger, you know. Probably when she started YouTube, she was probably, I don't know, I, I want to say 20, maybe maybe even younger. I don't know. But she's amazing. That's my problem. Alternate picking can't do, oops, sorry, mood. Can't do it with any speed. Right. Yeah. But, you know, down picking's cool, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, JJ the One Girl Band. That's it. Yep, she's she's uh she's amazing. I remember watching some of her stuff like seven years ago. My God. Yeah. Yep. Everybody knows who she is. Germany. That's it. Good remember. Of course, we all watch Ola, right? Ola England. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I try not to sit there and dwell on it because you know I get depressed. <laughs> But it is, it's whatever. Hey, Robert. How you doing, Robert Vance? Welcome to the live stream. You come in to check out the scorpion. I haven't gotten bit yet, but, uh, you know, we're playing with a scorpion today. doing good. That's great. Where about you from, Robert? <clears throat> I'm here in the wonderful state of Ohio. I don't know if it's wonderful. The Bald Shredder, I, I watch him some, from time to time. He's not one of my favorites, I guess. Two guys have been watching for the past years. They're awesome. I uh, actually bought one of the Lester Mitchell Lesson part Pack. Yeah, I, I mean, <clears throat> I've watched him a few times. Um, I, maybe I just need to watch some more. I'm, I'm trying to get used to him uh, as far as being, uh, you know, who he is. Um, I, like I said, I've seen him a handful of times. I'll have to check him out a little more. He's a good player. There's no doubt about that. He's definitely a good guitar player. Athens, Georgia. What is up? Yes, Mr. De Niro. Athens, Georgia. All right. I'm in Sound Central, PA. No kidding. My my uh, my son lives over there. He lives in Grove City, Pennsylvania. Around that area. Uh, just got done driving. <laughs> Neighbors crazy. 
in South South Bend, Indiana. Nice, nice. That's my that's my ultimate uh, goal. I would love to get to Indiana and work at Sweetwater. That'd be amazing. Uh, I don't know if that'll ever happen, but I'd like to. Los Angeles, California. What is up, Grease Monkey? You like the bald shredder? He's quite enter entertaining. Yeah, he's different. Like I said, he's just he's one of those ones for me. I just I gotta get used to the personality. Um, you know, if there's no not much of a personality for somebody, I mean, he's very interesting. Trust me. Um, and I've only watched him a handful of times, but uh, but yeah, now I'm gonna have to go back through and watch some more stuff. <laughs> Definitely a hell of a guitarist. Like I said. Uh, just turned 69, getting back into guitar. Just something to do. There you go, buddy. That is true. I hope to play, uh, I hope to play when I'm your age. You know? Or I hope I am still playing. Because if not, I got an awful lot of stuff here. So. <laughs> like 14 miles east of Gettysburg. Oh, yeah? Cool. Cool. Are you, you're around the, the uh, tourist area, apparently, right? got back into it in 2015. Yeah, I took a break myself. Um, it was a long time ago. Uh, you know, my my mom was dying with cancer at the time back in 2010, 2009. I think she was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. And, you know, it just took a lot out of me just to work. Um, but, you know, she passed away in 2011. So there's like between that time and probably a year or so after, probably like a four-year span, I didn't really do much. So, as far as even playing, um, there's just there's a lot of stuff that I missed out on too. As far as uh, you know, even like you know, awesome guitars I missed. <laughs> I could kick my ass, dude. Like, um, you know, I got the Zach Wild Bullseye Epiphone, and during that time, they released the Buzzsaw Epiphone. I missed out completely. Because <laughs> then when I found out about it, they didn't make them anymore. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> and I'm, I mean, I would like to have wild audio, but... A bit pricey. Uh, not saying that the Epiphone wasn't. I mean, I think it was around 700 bucks at the time, brand new. But 700 compared to like 1100 or 1200 dollars. You know, a big difference. I have, 50, I have a $50 pawn shop LTD EC10. I like messing with name. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. I haven't been to a pawn shop forever. Uh, it's been years. God. Over a decade. Probably two decades. I used to go to them a lot when I was younger. Um, yeah. That's cool. You can always find a good deal there sometimes, you know? Uh, let's see. Grease Monkey Guitars. I'm 62 and retired. But I am a caregiver for my wife. Oh, cool. That's nothing wrong with that, buddy. Um, and sometimes it's tough to find a block of time for playing. Yep. But I manage the best I can. Hey, man. You're doing uh, your service to your wife, man. There's nothing wrong with that. Just take every minute you got, um, you know, to be with her and help her. And when you get time, you get time, man. <clears throat> 
Uh, let's see. I've been buying these cheap guitars as of late. I got an IVY, Leo James, and a mono price. Hmm. India Classic. I don't think I've ever heard of mono price. Interesting. I do have a couple other brands coming here soon. Along with some more Leo James. <laughs> God, man, you guys are popping in like crazy here. Hang on a minute. Let me see what's going on here. Do -do 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 -do. Hello, everyone. Hey, Rick. How you doing, man? Thanks for joining. Uh, let's see. Rick. How you doing, Rick? Okay. Awesome. Cool. I think I got a cop back up here. Everybody's just saying hi to everybody. Hey, yeah, man. If you guys are in here and you guys want to support each other, you know, just like the narrow. Asked if Mitch has a channel. There you go, man. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Mitch does have a channel. Sweet. I'll find you, Stanger. What? What are you hooked up to right now? Hey, Robert. Uh, so, if you watch me for any period of time, you know I am a Black Star nut. Okay, that's probably if I can get an endorsement deal with Black Star, I'd be happy. Um, but uh, this Black Star right, right there. It's the Black Star ID 260. It's a solid state amplifier with uh, illuminated tubes or emulation tubes. Um, I don't know. It's I got it set on one of the presets that I always have for like every time I play. And I just got it hooked straight in from uh, you know the line out. I love that amplifier. Uh, Black Star is really these other <laughs> these other amplifier Black Stars here are pretty cool too. Like that V3, I almost hooked up to that. Maybe I'll do that in our next live stream. Um, it's a it's a beast. It only has like I think three inch speakers. Is it three or five inch? I can't even remember. Uh, but it sounds amazing. If you watch the video on that, it's killer. Uh, for some reason, I couldn't get the software to work. Um, but they, when they sent that over and I tried to get a hold of them, they, they said they would look into it. And they haven't got back to me at that point. But I haven't heard anything else about it. But yeah, you get in software and you can mess around. Even with this amplifier that I'm playing through, you can do all that. Um, unfortunately, they don't make the ID260 anymore. Um, the one above it is also a black star. That's the silver line. It's relatively along the same lines. They just kind of um, voiced it differently. It's along the same lines as the one I'm playing through. It's got the emulation tubes and things. It's an awesome amplifier. I get so many compliments on my tone. Everybody's like, oh, you got to tell me what pedals you're using, what amplifier. That amplifier must cost a million dollars. No, it's not. When I got that amp, it was honestly, I think, four ninety nine, brand new. <laughs> But it's two 12-inch speakers, and I do have, I think over behind here, uh, I have the 15-watt version, which is like a 10-inch speaker. Amazing. That's what I started with first when I bought my first Black Star, and then I seen this, that bigger one. I'm like, whoa. Uh, let's see. Oh, man, I'm getting, I'm getting lost again on all the uh, comments, man. So I'm, glad, I'm glad everybody's in here, man. Make sure you hit that like button if you haven't. Um, yeah, you're welcome, buddy. Um, let's see. Thanks, bro. Your channel is a bright spot for me, for sure. <laughs> I need to stick up some content for my channel. Hey, man, it gets rough, dude. I mean, I work like 9 to 5 or 9 to whenever I'm done during the day, Monday through Friday. Sometimes I don't get home to 7. So it's like, it's really hard for me to do a video through the week. Um... You know, because I just switched jobs a few months back, and before it's a little bit easier, but it's a lot more difficult now. Um, so I usually try to take a day on the weekend to try to do at least one or two videos. That's why you're only getting one video a week. Sometimes you'll get two here and there, but uh, you know, I like to try to get more into a groove, and you know, guarantee that you're absolutely going to get a video on Saturday or, or this day. And, you know, but it's hard to do. Um, Let's see, just, uh, okay, cool. Hey, Sam, there you go. Good job. There you go, Mitch. You got a subscriber. 
Let's see, what are you going through? What gear are you going through, Kemper? Now, <laughs> hey, Busher. Now, this is the uh, Black Star ID 260, man. Uh, solid state. <laughs> Right there, we just talked about it. Pretty cool stuff, man. I'm just, I'm hooked straight in. Straight into the Tascam Porta Studio. Right from the, uh, the line out, it's just on a preset. Pretty awesome stuff. Uh, and I, there's no pedals, no pedals. Uh, I think on this setting there's uh, delay, of course, uh, reverb, and just a touch of chorus on there. It's all built in. And I love the amplifier. And if you heard me say it a million times, sorry. <laughs> anyway, hey, Black Star, if you ever see this, man, please, I would love to be, uh, love to get some kind of a deal with you. Anyway, you're playing through the spark? Yeah. Hey, man, I got the spark sitting right over here. I never really did a video on that. I don't even think I've updated the software since I've had it. It is an awesome amplifier, though. Did you see the, uh, they're coming out. I don't know if it's out yet. I know you can pre-order it. They come out with a, a cab for the Spark. Like an actual cab. I think it's a it might be a 212 or a 210 or something. But uh, yeah, you can push a lot more air. Probably a lot more lower end. A more, a little more in-depth sounding. Even though that sounds amazing. I think it's like uh, probably two, inch fi or two five inch speakers in there. It sounds awesome the way it is. Hey, Dwight, just subscribe to uh, Sam's Budget Guitars. Good job there, buddy. Hey, support each other. No problem with that. I had an ID Core 20, ID Core 10 practice amps. They were, they were nice, but I sold them. Yep. Yeah, this this I'm, this I'm here's the ID Core uh, V3. I think it's a 20 watt. Pretty sure it's a 20. It's a 20 or the 30. I can't remember now. <laughs> but it is it is an awesome amplifier. It's basically a very miniature version of what I'm playing. Um, it just doesn't have the tubes and stuff, in, or the tube emulation switch and stuff. But it's very awesome. I just I, I wish I can get the software to work correctly. It's probably my computer, because I have a computer. It has like a, a Core i3. <laughs> That's why I have a lot of problems editing. <laughs> Man, 18 people in here, man. Thanks for everybody joining tonight. Uh, let's see. You sold an acoustic guitar today, did you? Yeah. There you go. Hope you got some good money out of it. Uh, let's see. I got a Black Star V2 10 watt and a Marshall 20 amp. Yeah, hey. Cool deal. I got a couple Marshalls. Uh, I got a Marshall DSL 100 over here. Uh, I don't really play it much, honestly. I used to play it a lot when I first got it. And I uh, also have a Marshall Valve State 2000. It's one of those hybrid amps. It's uh, just got the tube and the preamp section. Sounds decent. I mean, I was very happy when I got that because I got that before I got the uh, DSL. I was like, whoa, that's pretty cool. Is this thing dying on me? <laughs> Gotta watch that, because the thing I'm plugged into for the drums and the guitar is on, it runs on battery. Anyway, uh, man, I'm running behind on your comments, because I'm trying to get it, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for 18 people being in here, that's amazing. Uh, I got the Black Star V2, I have to shred that, okay. I'm still new, I'll have a lot, I have to check out, or check into the brand, I have a Line 6 amp, and I, okay, yeah, hey man, I had a Line 6 Spider... Four, I think it was. It was a good amp. Um, I, I I sold it. I needed money at the time and got rid of it. It was a big stack. You know, I had a four twelve cab with it and everything. Um, had a lot of presets in it. Those things are nice, but man, I will tell you what, I spent too much time dialing in the stuff that I wanted. It's like you know, it's like, hey man, I want to play. And you start playing, and it's like. No, I want to. I want to do this one. I I, I like this. Oh, hey, there's a Zach Wilde. Oh my God, there's ACDC saying. Oh my God, there's this. There's. It's like what? And next thing you know, it's like an hour and a half. You haven't really done anything. It's crazy. 
I mean, I ain't got nothing against Line 6, but, uh, you know, pretty cool stuff. Uh, let's see. Where are we at? Where are we at? Scar my guitar is heaven. Yeah. Yeah, he's a different cat, man. Um, I started watching him, I don't know, maybe five or six, no. It's probably been close to a year ago now. Um, I haven't watched every single video he's come out with, but he does have some good stuff. Um, so that, that's kind of where I got some ideas for some guitars that are coming. Um, you know, like the uh, Fesley brand and uh, Sinstar. So you'll see them on the channel, along with some newer Leo James stuff coming. So that'll be cool. Not sure if I'll do live stream unboxings or videos. I don't know. I like doing the live... The, the reason I like doing the live stream unboxings is because there's no editing, right? So I take it out of the box. You see what it is when it comes out of the box. And pretty much, I just tune it up and I play. Whatever it is, I play it. Nine chances out of ten, most of the time, doesn't sound bad. I may have to do a slight adjustment. Uh, you know, raise the bridge a little bit because of some string buzz or whatever. But I just think that speaks volumes when you can unbox a guitar right there, live. Spend a couple minutes tuning it up, stretch the strings out here and there, and you can play it, and it rocks. It's like, holy crap, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, Sean goes through a lot of stuff on Scar My Guitar. He breaks it all down, um, you know, opens up the cavities of the guitar, and, he even takes the headstocks or the, the necks off every guitar. That's a little extreme for me. Um, it's cool. It's cool that he's doing it, you know. I mean, kind of keeps me, you know, keeps anybody on their toes. If I want a, a good guitar, you know, hey, watch Scar My Guitar. Uh, let's see. Do you own Do you own a guitar store or are you just a guitar, gear junkie? I'm a gear junkie. Uh, I thought about going to, like, some kind of a meeting about it. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of problems. Um, you know, I mean, I get a lot of I get a lot of good deals, and here lately, these pedal companies have been very generous, um, sending me stuff. Uh, very grateful for that, uh, and it's content. It's content for you guys. Pretty cool stuff. Um, I would like to own a guitar store. That would be awesome. Yeah, he's a gear junkie. Sam knows. <laughs> hey, P and W on tour. I scored a mini Les Paul and painted it but it's too small to play <laughs> i got I, I think uh we got it from my son back when he was really really little I got one of those little mini les pauls and uh they are hard to keep in tune um because it's just a fixed bridge i don't know what yours is like but the one we had is just like it was like a fixed bridge and the strings wrapped around it and it would stay in tune for like two seconds and as soon as you hit one chord and then you go to something else, and it's done. Just done. So, yeah, they're, they're just kind of a joke. <clears throat> they're cool. Cool little novelty thing, though. Hey, M. Hey, dude. Just want to say hi from Scotland. Hey, man. Welcome. Uh, it's cool listening away uh, listening away to your stream. Zach Wild Tonage. Yes. Thank you, man. That means a lot. I, I, I love Zach. <laughs> That's really getting ahead of me here. I haven't got to. I'll try to. Uh, hey, there you go. You got another sub there. Oh, let's see. I haven't seen the cab yet. What cab? You talking talking to me? You talking to me? It's a combo is what it is. 212 combo. If you're talking to me, it's a 212 combo right there. We got 212 inch speakers in it. And I'm right in the line out, plugged straight into the Tascam ported studio. But uh, yeah, I got I got other cabs. <laughs> I mean, these you know, plenty of other cabs. I got the uh, ah, I got an EVH cab over here. I got some Marshall cabs over there. 
Uh, anyway, let's see. What's up, dude? Hope all is well, bro. Hey, Eddie. How you doing, buddy? Mm. Sorry. Uh, I do everything in a doll now. Just bedroom player for the most part. I have to use headphones or my wife will yell. You know, I, I really do want to get more computer savvy, right? The computer I have, like I said, has a Core i3 processor. That's not a cool thing to have. Um, you know, I do have a DAW. I got a uh, PreSonus, um, you know, DAW system there. And, you know, I would just like to get a little more familiar with it. I'm I'm more hands-on. I have the Tascam Portage Studio 32, I think it is. Um, I don't know if you remember Digitech. Digitech had a guitar workstation. It was all, like, digital recording and stuff. Badass little system. I That's what I'm familiar with. I'm more hands-on. Really hard for me to jump into the realm of this technology uh, that's going around. I guess I'm just more hands-on. Want it right in your face. When you're playing it, I want to feel the sound. You know, I want to crank it up. I want to feel the vibrations uh, that goes through your soul. Kind of like when you're at a concert and you're like, you know, six feet away from a freaking PA cab just blowing your brains out. <clears throat> uh, let's see... Let's see, Robert Vance says, I've been sharing some of your videos to get the views and numbers. Hey, man, thank you. Hopefully Facebook is watching. Hey, I appreciate you, Robert. That's awesome. Anything you guys can do, man. We're trying to get to 4K. I don't know why it's such a struggle to grow on YouTube. For me, I don't know. Um, I mean, I know I'm not the greatest guitar player in the world. Uh, I try to entertain you guys the best I can, you know, um, with my fake crew, which, yeah, there's... Nobody really here tonight, <laughs> but you know, I just think it's fun. And the whole the whole fake crew thing for me came up when it's like, if there's if there's a mistake, instead of me editing it out and trying to, I, I was trying to be so professional like years ago, a couple years ago. It's like, oh my god, it's stupid. I take that out. No, no, no. Now it's like, nope, we're gonna go with it. Like you know, when I'm sitting there and I'm talking, it's like, ah, hey, 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 you forgot to tell me, you forgot to tell me that this was that, that, you know, that type of stuff. I just leave it in there. I just go with it and play with it and have fun, you know. That's what it's all about. And, you know, I got a lot of people that seem to like it. So, but thank you for that, Robert. I really appreciate it, man. Uh, see, Mitch says, I probably lost 140 on the acoustic. Ooh, but that's okay. It was, okay, the Angelica uh, premiere. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. It's two years old. Hmm. So what's the regular price on those? If it's a hundred, you lost a hundred and forty. Hmm. Let's see, Grease Monkey. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I saw a review of the guitar you're playing now. It does sound great. Thank you. Thank you, man. It does. It is quite an awesome uh, piece of gear that I can't believe was eighty nine bucks. Still can't believe it, honestly. It, it just plays so smooth like a butter. Butter. Sore. <laughs> I was playing a lot before I got on here. Um, let's see. Dave definitely needs to open a shop now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you think it would help? You know, I, you never know. Okay. Uh, Mitch says, "Have you heard of Jason Stoll?" Yes, I have. Man, he's great. Um, here on YouTube, he teaches a lot of metal, which I know nothing about. I think he's really good in explaining. Yes, he is, man. Um. Like, he's, you know, I, I watch a lot of his stuff, too. Really cool guy. Yeah, a big dude, too. He likes to work out, I can tell. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Mitch. Mitch is that guy with the massive muscle. Yeah. Yep, that's him. Uh, let's see. I've been watching Messy Shredder here lately. Messy Shredder. 
as the Shredder. I don't know who that is. Unless you're talking about Ballhead Shredder. Uh, you don't know him, but <laughs> we talked about him earlier. Uh, let's see. Mitch says, love your video editing as much as I do playing guitar. <laughs> just, uh, I'm just very basic using my dog, though. Yep. Eh, that's cool, man. It works. I wish I could get more into using my doll. Now, I have done videos where I added drum tracks, because I have, like, Easy Drummer, all that stuff. <laughs> Those videos, literally, when I add drums... Now, when I'm playing drums on here... Hang on. There we go. Uh, that's just the beat buddy. That there's just a pedal. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's a beat buddy. You just tap it and it goes crazy. He plays drums, whatever. You got a ton of different selections. That's a little more easier for me. Uh, when you get into the editing and stuff, man, it takes me forever. Some of those videos that I've added drums to using that, those videos took me like, I'm not shitting you, like from very beginning to end, editing and everything, like 10 hours. It's like, oh my God. Uh, maybe longer. It's like 10 hours the first day and then editing and everything the next day, right? Anyway, um, dum, 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 dum. let's move on down here. If I missed you, man, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get caught up. Let's see, you're all, you're all fired. I hope I was, yeah, <laughs> when the audio was bad, right? Yeah, if you joined the live stream and you're still here, you know what, you know what he's talking about. Have you ever tried tapping like, tapping like it even handling? Yes, uh, not very good at it. But I can do a little bit. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, it's not something. That's not one of my strong suits either. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Paul Howe. If I didn't say hi to you, I just noticed your name in here. Um, let's see. Have you seen the talk about the new MT100? Is that the Paul Reed Smith? Because I had the MT-15, and I'm still pretty sad about that. Um, no, I have not heard the talk of the MT-100, but uh, the MT-15 was pretty awesome. And unfortunately, I needed money at the time, about five years ago, I think it was. And uh, I sold it, kind of gave it away. Uh, you know, brand new, it was like six, seven hundred bucks. I sold it for half price. It's basically brand freaking new. But you get desperate, you need money, right? How are you getting your sound in here? It sounds good. Um, just plugged straight from the output, line out of the Black Star, straight into my Tascam, Porta Studio, and the Porta Studio goes into the computer and into StreamYard here. So that's, that's how it's going. <laughs> So instead of having a mic, ran across the room, because the mic can pick up other things and pick up me talking, at least you have a direct connection. You can hear pretty much what the amp is playing, and it sounds great. So. But thank you, Mitch. Appreciate that. Uh, Dwight, that's what I use is the Beat Buddy drum. Yeah. I mean, it's a quick little easy pedal to use, man. Just tap it and go. Um, and you can get the expansion pack, which I have, which gives you, like, almost 500 different drum beats on there because of it actually goes into artists, and you can play the songs, like ACDC, Metallica, um, you name it. It's in there. It's crazy. <clears throat> uh, let's see, Robert said, that's not bad. If you practiced, would you definitely get 
Definitely get better. Oh, you, are you talking about the, the tapping man? Yeah, I. It's one of those that that's one of those things that does take practice, and I it's it's horrible because when I do my tapping, I'll get to concentrating and I'll mess up a lot because it's like this one will tap down too much, this one won't tap down enough, and then it sounds weird and. It's like I can't keep the rhythm. I don't know. It's weird. I use Easy Drummer 3. Uh, it's easy, but it can be really technical. If you have the time. I love it. I'm working on some stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got the Easy Drummer 2, and it's kind of complicated, to be honest. Uh... Yeah, so. cool stuff. Ah. Thank you, Robert. Let me go in here and see. Wow, 25 likes, man. Thanks, guys. That's awesome. If it's the right drum beat. Let's see what we got here. Hang on. Where's the drum beat? There it is. Alright, this is a song that I've been working on for a while, but never finished. It's got lyrics and everything, but here's a little sample. You might have heard it before years ago.
that. What do you think? I got a question for you. Ouch. <clears throat> Get a drink here. Okay. So when you guys when you guys are buying a guitar, what makes you what's the one thing or a couple of things that you look for in a guitar that makes you say, I want that guitar? It could be anything. It could be the look, it could be the playability, it could be the size of the um, neck, the weight, anything. Thanks, Robert, man. Appreciate that, bro. I really need to finish that. That was a song I wrote for my mom after she passed um, with pancreatic cancer about 10 or 12 years ago. It's got a very... Um, Zach Wildey Black Label Society feel to it even when I'm doing the vocal for it it was it's a pretty intense song that's not the exact drum beat either <laughs> uh, it's it's actually on my Tascam um, DP32 30, I don't know I can't remember if I got the 32 or the 24 pretty badass thing though Looks number one. Okay. Quality. Yep. Price and the look and the reviews. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Any that are in a sale. Right. I don't know for me. Honestly, it's just like... I'm sure she went too fast. I know. Dude, I got like seven... Seven songs. Uh, I don't. If you've haven't checked out my YouTube, I got a playlist of like I'm gonna call them albums. Okay, the sound quality is not the greatest, um, but you know I got like four four albums I did. It's like nine or ten songs on each one. Um, the, this one here, a little better sound quality to it. I just need to sit down and finish them up because I I do have enough to finish a whole another album. But anyway, uh, you're right on that, Robert. Let's see. Um, I recently got the Leo James Telly style, and it's pink. Nice. Hey, you talking about the sparkle one? That the sparkle ones are amazing, dude. I love the look of it in reviews. I saw it does play pretty good. Yeah, there's. I'm not much of a Telly guy, but that kind of changed my mind on Telly. They sound amazing, and they got the Unico Five pickups in them. It's, just, it's like playing. You don't feel like you're playing a telly, that's for sure. Because I, I think they've gotten that thing over the years where it's stereotyped. Oh, yeah, a telly guitar, that's that's a country uh, type of guitar, you know. But not anymore. I mean, I know there's bands that play tellies that have the humbuckers in it, and they sound amazing, and they're awesome. Um, How's the weight on that telly? The, uh, you can't remember. I want to say around 12 to 13 pounds. But yeah, those are awesome. I, I got I got one spark. I got the purple sparkle, which is amazing. It's a beautiful guitar. This, those sparkle ones are amazing. This one here, actually, it's probably about 11 pounder on this one. Mastodon, okay, yeah. I never really got into them, but yeah, they, uh, that's... One of one of the bands there, yep. Pretty cool stuff. Fifteen people in here? Wow. Yeah, the first Leo Telly I got was the older version, where it has the older pickups. Uh, they aren't Elnico 5s. 
Um, but yeah, you can definitely tell a difference between the two. And somebody, I think when I did that video, said that you could put the mini humbucker in there. I'm like, I could. I just never done it. But you know, yeah, that's always an option, you know. That would be a pretty badass guitar, honestly. <clears throat> like the Tempest, the pickups, neck, and the Wilkinson Tremolo. It has taken me a little bit to get used to the Vibrant Green. Yeah, hey, hey Robert. Uh, yeah, the those are they're an awesome guitar. Um, you can see my ooh, right there is my Tempest. Um, I'm looking forward to the new ones. That's one of the ones that's coming here soon. Um, they've updated some things on them. Um, the one thing, I hope it's a lot better. I don't know if you had the same problem, Robert, but there were some other guys, too, that I've seen. For some odd reason, for that guitar, I don't know, it must be the the Wilkinson uh, two-point trim. It took forever to get that thing to stay in tune but once you got it in tune it doesn't go out it i don't know what it was i don't know why it did that but uh it just seemed like it took forever um but i'm looking forward to uh the newer models can you show us how to do pinch harmonics hey cory yeah i mean i could show you here real quick um i'm taking the wife to see joe boss on oh sweet man that'd be a cool show Mr. Paul Howe, how you doing? Um, yeah, I mean, pinch harmonics. I, I've covered this in a video years ago, probably seven, eight years ago. Uh, I keep getting um, questions on it. It's not very hard. You just got practice. But I would rather do this practice other than running scales for nine hours out of the day. Uh, first thing, first and always, you need distortion, a lot of it. More the better, not so much, but you know, if you have high distortion or high gain, it does help quite a bit. Next thing I will tell you uh, is your uh, string height. If you're a guy that likes a lot of string buzz when you play, I, I had a buddy or two that had guitars. I swear to you, every string I hit just buzzed. I'm like, what is this? And it was such a distraction, I couldn't even concentrate on the playing. And his his thing behind it was, oh, hey, you're going to hear it anyway at the distortion. <laughs> no, it's pretty bad. And it's very difficult to hit harmonics when the strings are buzzing. Because when the strings are buzzing, that means your strings are hitting other frets, which is deadening your notes a little bit, right? So you want to make sure you just get it up enough to where you don't want, you don't want any string buzz, okay? String buzz is a no-no. If you have a slight bit, very little, it's not going to hurt too much. But that would be your next thing. So we got distortion, we got string height. Okay, this is just me. I don't. Everybody else might have a different opinion, but um, so those are the two things I can tell you with the guitar. Okay. Um, next thing. Uh, sometimes it's a thing. Sometimes it isn't. Your pickup height. Okay. Sometimes you want it just. You don't want it super high, because if it gets too close to the string, the magnetic part of the poles will start pulling down a little bit and kind of give you a muddier tone. But you want it down just a little bit. You know, give yourself, you know, a decent gap, but, you, you know, pretty much your guitar should be set up to where it should be. It's kind of a personal preference on that. Um, your next thing would be your picking, okay? So when I'm hitting a harmonic... <laughs> Basically, you'll, you'll see, watch my hand down here, if you can see it. When, I, when you see the squeal, you'll see my finger do a certain... So I, I tip my finger, or my hand down a little bit. But you just want a very small bit of pick showing through. Basically, because when you're hitting that, as soon as you're, as soon as you're hitting that string, when you hit that string... I'm going to come down and have your thumb tap that screen, that string, but you don't want to hit it so hard it's not going to ring out. You just want it to tap it. But if you hit it too hard and you, and you hold it there, it's going to kill it. So as soon as you hit it, you got to let off.
so those are just some tips. Um, like I said, it takes a lot of practice, man. Once you get it down, though, it's it's pretty pretty simple to do. Um, I hope it helps. There, there, I got a video, like I said, it's probably eight years old now. But uh, yeah, hey Boldini, pop back in. What's up, Boldini? How you doing, buddy? I hope that helped you out, buddy. Uh, wait a minute, where are we at? Uh. Yeah, that was Corey. Hope I helped you, Corey. Let's see. I hadn't even finished the question that I asked you guys. Anyway. <laughs> Haven't had much trouble with tuning. Uh, only problem is what was delivered with a tiny chip out of the neck and no gig bag, and I paid 200 for it. Uh, I missed something here, maybe. I had him to it. Oh, no, it went right back to where it was. Let's see. Like the temp. Oh, okay. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the no gig bag thing. I know. I I I wish I wish they'd put gig bags with all of them. Would be nice. I mean, something like this, I could see, but maybe maybe the newer ones will find out. You know, when I get when I get some of those, maybe we'll f figure that out. But uh, let's see. And yeah, it sucks about the little chip in it, but I'm sure it didn't really cause you any issues. I'm sure it's still playable, but it still sucks. Um, Leo James Tellys does not have does have some weight. Yes, it does. Honestly, it's pretty shocking. I didn't think it'd be that heavy. I mean, it's almost like a Les Paul. Uh, but not as heavy as my American Pro Tele. Right. Okay. Where are we at now? Okay. Uh, got that Billy G Z Z top sound. <laughs> nice. Watching Saw Traps. Oh, boy. I can't watch Saw movies, man. <laughs> They're, they're too much. Daggone it. Let's see if I can play uh, stand. I Stand Alone here. And I did that in the video because of the scorpion on here. I stand alone. Scorpion King, God smack. Ready? Ah. Out of tune. Anyway, you get it. And I think on here it's, I'm pretty sure it's nine gauge strings. I'm not really used to. I like the 1046 gauge myself. But anyway, back to guitars and what I asked you guys, and I never finished. Uh, you know, what makes you buy a guitar? What makes you want one, right? Uh, you know, what's your selling point? Uh, mine, naturally, you know, looks. Looks first to get me, you know. Uh, that's the first thing that gets me. It's like, wow. Unless I'm in a music store and I see something, I'm like, yeah, that's kind of interesting, but, um, you know, I don't know if I like it, but, you know, and you try it and it's like, whoa. It's not really the greatest looking thing, but it does play amazing and sounds good. Uh, that type of thing. Um, next would be, of course, playability. Things like that. That's very important. Um, you know, and the cheaper guitars are good. and But some of them, like Scar My Guitar, uh, Sean says uh, they're good. They're a good value uh, if you know how to work on some stuff, you know. Uh, if you know how to do a setup. If you know how to, uh, you know, maybe sand down some frets or file some frets. 
uh, things like that, or change out, change out some tuners, or put a new nut on things, or whatever, those type of guitars are awesome. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of like where I'm at on guitars. Um, do you ever play any Dawkins? <laughs> yes, of course. Robert, come on, man. Where you been, bro? Where you been, man? <laughs> again. I don't have the whammy bar for that. Uh, let's see. forever. <laughs> oh, still need you. No, no problem, Robert. I was just messing with you, brother. You'll hear a lot of dog. Hey, I'm an 80s boy. I am an 80s boy. cheaper Jackson and a cheaper Schecter and they did not play or they did not sound as good as Leo James I'm, uh, thank you thank you guess what guess what you you get a highlight you get a highlight bud <laughs> Good job, man. Heck yeah. <laughs> Mississippi Queen. Oh my gosh. Uh, man, I, you know what? I haven't played that for a long time. Wow. Hey, happening. <laughs> I just listened to that. Have you ever listened to the Ozzy and Zach version of Mississippi Queen? It's amazing, dude. Black Sabbath, first song I ever learned to play. Yep. Cool, man. Yeah, actually, Iron Man was my very first song. On an acoustic with the strings off the neck about that far. It was horrible. It was like... It was horrible. I thought it was a badass, though. So. That was back when I was 12, you know. <clears throat> Led Zeppelin. Ah, uh, man. Ah. No 
no stairway. No, no, no stairway. <laughs> Jesse's girl. Springfield would love that. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Wish I had Jesse's girl, right? about a G string on a guitar just I don't know never fails right peace sells but who's buying yeah I can't play that one brother I am I didn't even tried to play that one honestly it's been a long time long time what you got on the cult uh nothing <laughs> I never even tried to play the cult man um yeah I just I don't know Let's see, what else? I got an 80s. Yeah, that was GNR right there. We got some poison. to the wall. I love that song. I uh. That's a, I can't remember how it goes. Dan, dan, dan. Uh, I'd have to hear it, man. It's been so long. That's an awesome song, though. Made it for a few minutes, bro. That guitar sounds really good. Thanks, Eclipse. Hey, bud. Hope you're doing good. Yes. Can't beat it for 89 bucks, brother. Either. I ain't rusty. Bon Jovi. Uh, jeez. <laughs> bon Jovi. Uh. This time you're relieving. Oh, sorry. 
You want to dead or alive? I can't. I can't. I can't. Nope. <laughs> I think I tried to play that one time and just really got me a uh, love back. <laughs> Here we go. Yep. I, dude. I'll be there for you. Wasn't that what I was playing a minute ago, I think? Oh, no. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? I think that's what it was. I haven't got all of it down, but uh, let's do some snake, huh? Uh, whatever. Anyway. that forever either <laughs> yeah okay yeah, I thought that's what I was playing Remember it, man. Yeah, Scully is uh, um, Scully's grounded. Just to let you know, uh, if you watch the beginning of the live stream, maybe you can go back later. Uh, we had a lot of issues at the beginning of the show, and uh, somebody brought up Scully was behind it, and I think he was. Um, so unfortunately, Scully will not be joining us tonight. He is he is pretty upset. He did see uh, Scorpion come in. I think I'm gonna call this Scorpion King. Uh, fitting but uh yeah he's not very happy and i'm not very happy with him <laughs> he might get fired good point maybe i'll have a video of me and him talking it out here so he's really screwing some stuff up like when you watch my videos and you see things pop up like you know god can this guy get this guitar in tune can he play any worse you know that that's him that's him I, I couldn't believe it either. It's crazy. Uh, let's see. Okay, here you go. God, I can't keep the rhythm. Anyway, Jackal, uh, down on me, I think it is. How about a song from yesteryear? <laughs> what? He's mad because he wants a pickup upgrade. He does. He really does. Uh, I talked to him about that, actually. And, you know, because in one of the videos, he... 
made an ass out of himself and made me look bad uh, because, you know, he has microphonic pickups. And I was really, uh, really upset at that time. And we've been talking. Um, I have a Seymour Duncan Black winner. Uh, I offered that to him. He kind of frowned upon that. Uh, one of my favorite pickups of all time, which you guys really don't know that. I'm a Seymour Duncan fan, uh, but the Seymour Duncan Screaming Demon is an amazing pickup. It is a very awesome pickup. I actually have a Screaming Demon that I put into the Abyss guitar that I did. Uh, it is an amazing pickup, if you've ever heard it. It's not really a high output, but it allows your amp to do the work. It, it's amazing. Gotta know, are you self-taught? Yes, Robert, I am. Is it that bad? <laughs> uh... Goblinicus. Sorry. <laughs> What's up, man? Holy Lord, that tone is tasty. Thank you, man. Yeah, it's a scorpion. It's 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 uh, pretty snappy. Uh, and your background is epic. Thanks, brother. A lot of time in here. Oh, you sub, man. Thank you, bud. I appreciate that. We're trying to get. If you haven't known, I'm trying to get to 4K by the end of the year, so I can do a giveaway. You don't know, man. I remember. I think it was my. Was it my 1,000 or my 2,000 giveaway, man? I had a bunch of crap. I got a hold of a bunch of companies, man. They were giving me stuff to give you guys. Like, things from Music Nomad Care, Chicken Picks. Um, man, it was just a slew of things. I think I had a pedal in there. I had all kinds of stuff that I gave away. It was awesome. <clears throat> not a green screen. No, this is not a green screen. Yeah, because if you see me earlier, I went over and pushed the buttons on the amp. <laughs> uh, I've been wanting to upgrade my flag LP. Yeah, it's not a bad guitar, though. I, those, the pickups aren't bad. I mean, those are, I think those are probably the um, microphonic ones. I do have some more Leo James coming, guys, and uh, a couple other brands. Uh, Sin, Sinstar and um, Besley, I think. So those are going to be cool. Those will be coming down the line here pretty soon. And I may be doing a uh, DIY uh, guitar. Maybe. I know that's what brought a lot of my views, or brought a lot of my subscribers in. So, we may be doing something here soon. Just to let you know. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, don't don't tread on me. Yep. I love that song. It's just, it's just like a classic raw opening of a freaking... Oh, guess what? We can't do a... Batteries died on that thing, so now I have to plug in <laughs> this way, which I may blow your eardrums out. Let me turn this way down here and get this level set. Does the guitar sound uh, loud enough? Because I had to switch out because my Zoom thing that I was using takes batteries and it just died on me. Hopefully it's loud enough for you. I can turn it up louder if I need to. Um, I got a Wilkinson Hot Zebra pickups. Oh, moved on me. Installed in my Harley Benton. Nice. Yeah, Wilkinson's really good brand, man. I mean, they got some really good stuff. I've got Wilkinson uh, pickups and a couple of my DIYs that I've done in the past. That's fine, Dave. Cool. All right, good. You know, I always forget that I, you know, drop the D or bring it back up. And I go play, and I look stupid. So, anyway. Uh, I have some SD Green Magic pickups. Oh, Seymour Dunn. Okay. Green Magic? I don't think I've heard of Green Magic ones. They, are, they must be relatively newer, or is that an older type? But, uh, yeah, I got... Um, I think it's Seymour Duncan that has Alpha and Omega pickups. 
I have the JB set and one of my Les Pauls. Uh, I got a Black Winter. I also have some. I got that Screaming Demon. I got two or three other guitars that have Seymour Duncan pickups. Man, they're amazing. I've never tried like the distortion type pickups. You know, the like the um, oh the SH eight or whatever it is. Ren got into those. I haven't really changed much pickups around, man. I, it's something maybe I need to do. But yeah, I do want to upgrade Scully. I want to get him up to snuff because he's a badass guitar. Uh, that was probably one of the second or third Leah James that I got. And uh, he's changed my life. <laughs> uh, Sorry. Sounds awesome. Sounds awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um. Oh, okay. Peter Green model. I got you. Okay. Huh. This might sound pretty cool. I love the JB and the Duncan Distortion. Yeah, I, 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 I may just have to try Duncan Distortion at some point. I'll have to see what I really want to put into Scully. I'm not sure. I might even want to put something into this, but I mean, it sounds, sounds good. I... <laughs> I mean, if, it's, if it sounds like that, why would you mess with it? You know what I mean? I just never got into that, I guess. Um, but yeah. anybody Would anybody want to see a DIY kit? <clears throat> I mean, uh, on the channel. Anyway. <clears throat> Let's see... I love the JB and Duncan story. Or I read that already. Sorry. Um, a section to left. Whoop, sorry. A section to the left. Looks like you bought a section. <laughs> yeah, all these back here. These are all my DIYs that I've done, with an exception of that one right there with the lightning on it. That one there was. Uh, I think that was from Wish. That was like 89 bucks, and it compares nothing to this, which was 89 bucks. Uh, but it was originally 119 to be fair, and this is a reputable company in my, in my opinion. Uh, it's like an off-brand name I can't remember of, but yeah, all these I've done. These are all DIY kits. <clears throat> Please don't change the Scorpion. Right, I know. A lot of people get a guitar. Oh, I'll put new pickups in it. I'll put put a new uh, new volume of tone in there. New switch. I'm gonna, man, this nut's got to go. You know, that's cool. But I don't know. It doesn't go out of tune for a rhythm guy like myself. Sounds great to me. No need to mess with it. Yes, do a deal like it. Oh, Sam. It's one of those things where I'm I'm at that point now where it's starting to get cold again. So if I if I'm gonna do a deal like it, I need to start on one. Do any of you remember? I don't wanna let too much out of the bag. <laughs> uh do you any of you remember the community post that I put up? I don't know, probably five months ago or so, I asked you, there was like a poll of three different DIY kits that you would, what would you want to see, and which one won? Do you remember which one won out of that? I know I'm asking a big one, but that's all right. We'll see how uh, see how many people pay attention. <laughs> I love my flag guitar, or my flag LP, but I want to be able to crank in front of people. Yeah. Right, yeah, and if if you're in a smaller room, I got gotcha. you. It's a beautiful guitar and needs to be seen, and I absolutely love how it feels. Yeah, it, it does feel amazing. I'm, I'm still impressed with that one, too. Um, I actually got the Union Jack as well, and it's it's the same way. Uh, th those are the older Leo James that have the microphonic pickups. My last few that I've got, uh, they were all this year's models. Uh, those all have the Elnico 5s, and you can crank those babies, and they sound amazing. 
So, yeah, just crazy. I like your DIY videos. Oh, you've, have you watched some of those? Okay, cool. Uh, DIY kits are, vids are always fun to watch. Right. Yeah, I don't know if I'll ever do another dip. <laughs> uh, as we all know, we did Skull Anna. Uh, that was my last DIY kit. She turned out amazing. She sounds amazing. Uh, right back there. If you can barely see her. Um, but yeah, that was, that was painstaking. I've never done a hydro dip before, especially on a guitar. Um, that was really weird. Kit vids, uh, yeah. Uh, anywho, you may see one coming up, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. Um, not really the one that I wanted, but you guys voted on it, so, I mean, it is what it is. That's for sure. How many likes are we up to? I'm just curious. I, I, I gotta see. I gotta see. I gotta see. Hang on. 26 likes? Okay. Hey. You know. That's cool. We're still got a steady, steady 12 in here. You guys are awesome, man, for sticking around. Appreciate you being here. Yeah, see, I thought I was... Uh, I thought I had the drop D again, but I did not. Oh, slipped right off there. But back to this thing. It's a flat top, just like a Le um, Epiphone Les Paul Standard 2. I think that's the same thing. The only difference is, as far as the design goes, you can see the point. It comes to a point. Like most all the other Leah James, it doesn't have that curve like the Epiphone does. So, but yeah, same as all the others, man. Neck feels great, all that stuff. I, I really wish I had done the, or gotten the guitar quicker and did the video sooner um, so you guys could have caught in on it because I don't know if they're going to be available anymore, to be honest with you. I got very lucky and like I was editing the video and when I got done, I went to Amazon, tried to look it up and it was gone. Like I said, when I ordered it, or when I got it, there are six left. So, aside from Scorpion, what would you recommend the next Leo James? Like for you? Or what I would get? Could you do something with a big <laughs> tape trimmer? Oh, that's a cheaper version. Um... I mean, <sighs> I've never done a Bigsby, and unfortunately I have three guitar kits setting here, and so it'd be a while before I would do um, something with a Bigsby type thing. What would I get for Leo James? Um, well, we got a couple of things coming. I don't want to spoil much. But uh, I, I I won't spoil much, okay? I have an SG coming. It's one of the newer less SGs, okay? And I do have one, maybe two of the new Tempest Storms coming. Maybe. I know one for sure. So those should be fun and exciting. Uh, not sure quite when I'm getting them, but they are coming. Only mod I done so far on a Leo James. I put one of the stainless steel frets neck on I seen that man, uh with the with the neck, right? Um like the roasted maple necks. That that was that was beautiful. I did watch that. That was awesome man. <clears throat> now you got another one. <laughs> They're beautiful necks. They really are. But yeah that, that guitar turned out amazing dude. And it just fit right in there, right? I mean, just like a basic swap out. <laughs> Let's see if I can play this.
Anyway. Now you're messing with her. That's a classic. There's some up now, man. Check them out. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure if I don't do any Les Paul models. I haven't seen any new of those, but uh, there are some uh, like the Tempest. They have released a couple of those, um, and the SG. They have released one or two of those as well. So you just have to kind of go look at them. But uh, I'm not telling you what I'm getting. We'll, we'll see what. Yeah, new Tempest got two. Thank, thanks on the guitar compliment. Yeah, no problem, man. I had someone put put it on, but it didn't. He didn't say had any problems. Yeah, he might have had to put a shim maybe in it or something. But you know, I mean, it turned out amazing. But yeah, the new Tempest, man, go check them out at Amazon. Holy shit! <laughs> so I won't tell you what I got coming. I'm not gonna tell you color wise. That's gonna be a surprise. Maybe I'll do a live stream. Maybe I'll do like I did this. I'll do a video earlier in the week. And then we'll do a live stream and just cover it like I'm doing right now. Because uh, this video went pretty crazy. Like 24 hours, it got uh, almost 600 views pretty much. That was crazy. Holy crap, I've been on here two and a half hours. Holy crap, man. That's insane. Well, why am I drinking Rockstar at 8 o'clock? Uh, I'll be up all night. Uh, you have a gradient red that I wanted. Christmas, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Christmas F F FedEx hours are coming. Nice. Yep. Yeah, I got the gradient red too. It was awesome. Hmm. Photograph. Dude, I've tried to play that. I uh, just tried to play it like uh, a few months back. Shit. You're right. Whatever. You know what? No, we're not doing Def Lover. <laughs> uh, we can do some BLS. Yeah. Let's see if I can remember this one. Um... Rusty dude. I played uh, that one earlier, what was it? Tell you, I am rusty.
Um, what's another one? Shit my pants. That's what I would do. Is Zach said that? Yeah. Hey, what's up, Will? Will him? How you doing, brother? Welcome to the stream. Yes, I would definitely poop my pants right there, right there. You'd be like, hey, brother, you want you want to play rhythm, man? Uh, I'll do all the lead boards. You 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 can be like my you know the evil twin back of the day. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be like, well, first off, I can't play quite that well. I need a lot of practice. But yeah. I have let it, and I just leave it all right there. He'd probably look at me and say, well, you're in. <laughs> you know how old Zach is, right? Oh, uh, man, what's that one? Let's see. Oh, I'm trying to figure. Let's see. I can't even remember how it goes. Start playing some black label, man. It's been a while. Take it, have merch. I want a shirt. Yeah. Hey, man. Uh, it should. I don't know if it'll be down in the stream or not. But yeah, you go to any of my other videos, or you go to my about section, you'll see Stanger merch. Tons of stuff. It's suit spread shirt. Um, I need to look into something else, but they have like hundreds of different items. Not just this graphic, but they got tons of other graphics: t-shirts, hats, hoodies. Uh, my biggest one is. Um, it's all about the music, because that's what this is all about. Hang on a minute. Ah. Yeah, I got a couple of stickers here. See, whoop! You'll have you can you'll have that you can have that on a shirt. I got a couple of shirts that have that on there. Um, pretty cool stuff, man. You can get mugs, whatever. Pretty reasonable price too. Yeah, check it out, Robert. A anything that'll help support the channel, man. Uh, that way we can keep getting stuff. You know, I mean, I do get some deals, and I also get. I've been getting a lot of uh, pedals here from these companies. Uh, I can't complain with that. <sighs> oh, crazy babies. Oh. This 
should be fun. Ah. Why does it sound weird? Here? Ah. I forget that other part. I can't remember it. My God, I'm stupid. been a while <laughs> any others from that album oh my god i used to know miracle man we ain't going there <laughs> uh we Actually, we can do some No Rest of the Wicked. Or, I mean, uh, No More Tears. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I used to know that by heart. Tears was my gateway to Aussie and that yes. Um I got I no rest of the wicked, that's where I found Zach. That was back in the day. I remember when uh Crazy Babies hit MTV, I was like, Who the hell is this guy? Badass. And always Aussie's always been good. Um but Zach just threw that extra bit of fire onto it, man. Um, but when No More Tears came out, that's when I really started getting more into playing, and I wanted to play more. But, uh, man, that Black Star sounds particularly wicked today. Thank you. It's probably the Scorpion, man. Probably the Scorpion. Staying here, would, you would be surprised what Joe Perry's ceramic slide would sound like. Really? I never played with a slide, really, to be honest with you. Yep. Yep, badass for sure.
I can't do the figgly thing. play something here uh, this came to me earlier in a week I was just piddling around for a minute it was right before I was doing this video or not this video but the video for this guitar um, I don't know what it is uh, but I like it and it's haunting me it sounds like something or a combination of another song I don't know maybe you guys know uh, if it's not, then I might work with this. Uh, kind of a pretty intro. Now this has got some of the <clears throat> some of the dirt on it because of the amp. I could go over and switch it, but I'm lazy. So anyway, here we go. I I don't know. It doesn't sound right. <laughs> I like that though. It's pretty. It just reminds me of something. Um, I wonder what ever happened to that horned headstock playing what color guitar Zach played in a live and loud video. Did you ever hear anything about it? That horned headstock. I don't know. Kind of forgot about it. I'm trying to place it actually. I actually have that DVD or video somewhere. Um, yeah, I have to watch that. I, I uh, kind of forgot about all that. I also play cigar box guitar. Hey man, fun guitars there. There's some hillbillies from Kentucky who play ACDC. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, they play. Uh, was it Thunderstruck? I think it is. And is that the same ones that do uh, Psychosocial? I think from Slipknot. I think. I don't know. Yes, yeah, the bar, cigar boxes are cool, man. It, I uh, I was pretty. Uh, you can get a lot of cool sounds out of them. I've never thought about building one, but. it is yep yeah i think it is too but yeah the first time i seen that i was like what the hell sounded cool i mean they were getting right into it man So, yeah, you guys can uh, be looking forward to some stuff on the channel, for sure. Um, got some more pedals to do, too. You guys liking the pedal videos? Um, I mean, I understand. Budget is better, right? But every now and then, uh, you know, if a company, if I reach out to a company and they send me a pedal uh, that's on the more expensive side or whatever, I'm, I'm not going to say, nah, it's okay. I'm good. Um... But some of those, uh, they offer me like maybe half price or something like that for doing a video or whatever. Um, so I'm not going to turn that down. And I know some of those are more expensive. But it's just kind of cool to see what else is out there. Um, but yeah, the budget-friendly pedals are definitely the way to go. Like that, uh, what is it, Cool Music, that silver one, that did crazy. Um, that was only 35 bucks. 
Um, I'm friends with a guy, Justin Johnson, who sells shovel guitars there. Wicked. Yeah, I've seen those. Those are pretty awesome. I've seen a couple guys playing them. That's got like one pickup and pretty much one string. But yeah. <laughs> it's weird. I mean, you know, because there's no frets. He's, the whole thing's like a slide. The fart pedal was, fart pedal was different. Um, I, I wanted the bigger version, but um, but uh, they were kind enough to send a small one over, which that's cool. A little tutor. It was different. <laughs> it was different. Uh, I first seen that on, I think it was Ola England that had the original, like the bigger one, which has a wet and a dry. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, that was a good. That was a good video. I just, I, I thought it was cool how it comes in the, uh, just a metal tin can. I actually got a hold of the company, and I'm like, do you use a can opener to get this pedal out of here? If you haven't seen that, man, you gotta go see that fart pedal video. It's funny. <laughs> that pedal had some great stain. <laughs> yeah, it sure did. It left a stain, too. Big one. Big stain. <laughs> oh, man. He's got a uh, boxcar resonator guitar. <coughs> Is it? Cool. Gretsch boxcar resonator. Ah. Oh. That's cool, man. That probably sounds better that way, if you can hear it. I don't know what that sounds like to me, but it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, a can opener, dude. That's That was the crazy part. I actually went and got the can opener and opened it up right there. Right there. I had no idea what I was getting into. It was crazy. <clears throat> my, dream, my dream guitar is a Gretsch like George Thorogood uses such a beauty. Yeah, good old George Thorogood, man. Bad to the bone. I don't even try it, no. Chasing that like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Keep chasing that like Yeah, gotcha. Oh, I don't know, man. Whew. Wow, we're going three hours, brothers. I appreciate everyone in here, man. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, 4K by the end of the year, we're hoping. I should be able to hit that with what's coming up. So, so I haven't got a definite answer yet. I'm hoping to. Do you been on nearly three hours? I know. It's crazy, man. I hope I'm entertaining you.
Uh, anyway, haven't got a definite answer, but uh, more than likely we'll do a DIY pretty soon. <clears throat> so, yeah. Gotta, if I'm going to do a DIY, I need to do it because the weather. Uh, we're getting we're in the fall, and we're getting very few warm days here and there. So if I'm going to do anything that requires painting or anything like that, I need to get it done. So, so close. <laughs> What's up, Sean? <clears throat> Get a baby scully. Uh, yeah, I still got a wedding to do yet. Uh, you know, at this point, I might as well just schedule that wedding for like Valentine's Day, right? That'll give me some time. Um, but I know scully is getting impatient. It's gotten so bad, guys, that I've taken scully and I've actually put him in a hard shell case. Yep, yep, and 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 latched it. So he can't get out and cause problems. So Do you have any P yes I do. I uh I have three PRS guitars. Oh. Sorry. One of them I actually did a video with not too long ago. Uh it was a PRS SE standard. Uh and I also have a seven string PRS and a Mark Holcomb PRS. It's the first series, not the newest one that came out. Um, I like the Mark Holcomb. It's set up to C standard or whatever, but it's just like, it needs work. I need. I, I actually got a nut for it um, to put on there. I don't know if it's the nut or the tuners. It's got the PRS tuners on it, but I think it needs tuners and a nut because... It'll play for a second and it'll go out of tune. Unlike this. This thing does not go out of tune. However, like an eight or nine hundred dollar guitar goes out of tune really quickly. It's crazy. How does that work? If I did that on the Mark Holcomb, it would be way out. Just bleh. It's been that way. I've had that guitar for a while. I've just never really done anything with it. <laughs> I love it. It's a beautiful guitar. PRS SE277 is sick. Yeah, I've seen those. Yeah, the, like I said, the one... Seven string that I got is a... Uh, it's just your basic... Standard type seven string. It's nothing major. Uh, I got the... Paul Signature SE... And the 24 Floyd Rose. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah, the, the uh, let's see. The standard that I have, the SE version has, it's not a Floyd Rose, but it's, uh, you know, the tremolo type thing. Um, nothing major. Just one of those things where you can just, you know, do a little bit of bendy windies with it. <laughs> Leo James has a Tempest series that is pretty sweet. Yes. Absolutely, sir. Do you remember my... I got the Tempest right here. It's the old... It's the older version. They're getting right... They actually released the newer ones. Uh, we'll be getting one, possibly two of those very soon. And we'll be doing videos on those. I can't wait for that. I'm not going to tell you colors or nothing. Uh, and I also have another guitar coming from Leah James as well. Uh, that sucks about... The one I want to stay... I know. Well, I got it for Sweetwater. They ran a deal. It was 48 months financing, and it was a demo model. So being a demo model is like 140 bucks off the price. So I was like, wow. And when they do a demo, it's just for something crazy. It'd be like on the back and just be like something around the, you know, maybe around the plate. Maybe uh, it didn't polish very good. I can't get it out. It's like a scratch or maybe a little chip. And they, they'd knock literally like 100 bucks off of something, you know. So that's why I got it. Like, holy crap, man. That would be awesome. And that's one that has the Alpha Omega pickups. And those things sound sick. I need to just... I don't know if I would do the work on that or not. Because uh, i got a Graph Tech nut to put on there. And I've just never done it. 
Man, like I said, it may need tuners. I think it's the nut itself. It just gets binded up in there. And when you're doing that string bend and it kind of pulls the string, but then it kind of sticks and then it causes things to go out of tune. So, which I have used. Um, oh gosh. Oh, the lube from oh God. Music Nomad Care. I've used that up in the nut slot and it it does okay, but I really, more to think about it, it's probably the tuners. I'm probably just need to get different tuners on it. Nut sauce too. I, I haven't tried nut sauce, but uh, the one I got, I can't remember the name of it, but it's through Music Nomad Care. It's good stuff. I've used it before, and it, it does the same thing. Shame on you bringing up nut sauce on my live stream. Sick guy, man. Sick. Wow. <laughs> how you got your Tremonti SE? Yeah. Sweetwater's the way to go, bro. I love Sweetwater. It's my number one ordering place if I'm ordering, like, brand new st If I really want something good, I'm going to Sweetwater. Especially guitars, dude. Like, I know I get these Leo James and stuff, but, you know, if I'm looking like a, like at a good, solid Epiphone or, like, the EVH or uh, the George Lynch models or whatever... I'm going there because I get through all these inspections. If the guitar is over, I think it's two ninety nine. They do like a seventy or fifty five point inspection. I don't know what it is, but they make sure the string height's good, no string buzz, uh, everything's set to spec. They double check all your wiring. Um, you know, they just make sure everything's tightened down, good to go. They clean it up really nice. You no know, way we get it right out of the right out of the, right out of the case. It's ready to rock. You can't beat it. Best music online store ever. Uh, Stanger, have you ever heard of a Dixon guitar? Yes, I have. I have an EVH version. I can't find any information about it. I have heard Dixon, but I don't know the brand. Like, to know it, know it. But I have heard the name of it. <clears throat> Just had to keep searching on that one, man. I'm not sure. Uh, I lucked out and found the Floyd Rose SE used on Facebook Marketplace for 500 in the original gig bag hard sh hard case. Wow, any original, any original Guitar Center receipt? Nice, that's awesome, dude. I'm not much of a Guitar Center guy. <laughs> I said it just because there were uh, the sister store of Musician Friend. Musician Friend sucks. I've had really bad experiences. Um. I have been in one guitar center, and I was not impressed at all. Uh, one of my buddies was buying a guitar. Uh, I think it was a Schecter. It was used. Uh, he bought it and got it home. We opened up the cavity. Cause it was, I mean, it played okay in the store. Uh, there was just some slight sound issues. I don't know what was going on. We popped off the back cavity. It's like there was so much... Um, like solder in there built up all over the terminals. I'm I've never seen I'm talking like mounds. I don't know <laughs> I don't know what they did. It's like they poured it on there, you know? I I was like, what? I mean and I, I got a Chapman guitar from Guitar Center. Well I'm sorry. From Musician's Friend. Uh years ago. I think it was the M L two. I got one I was told it was brand new. Brand new. Uh, it came from, when I got it, the receipt said it came from Guitar Center in California. When I opened that, if you if you go back and watch that video, when I opened it, it was caked in dust. I mean, dust. You, you could take it like this, run your finger across it, you could see where your finger was, you could see the dust on there. It was caked. I, had, I took the strings off, I cleaned it, polished it up, oiled the fretboard. The fretboard was dry. I, it must have been hanging there for years. Uh, I did get a hold of them and of, at Musician's Friend, complained. I said, this was told, I was told this is a brand new. 
brand new guitar, brand new. And I got it, and it's like this. It's clearly used. It's been if it wasn't used, it's been hanging around for months and months and months. And uh, they were we talked it over, got a hold of a couple people, and they knocked like a hundred dollars off. They refunded me a hundred bucks, which I was like, yeah, okay, you know, still wasn't happy about it. I mean, that's false advertisement, man. That's that's one of my many bad experiences with Sweetwater, or musician friend. Uh, Sweetwater is like. God awesome compared to that. I mean, wow. PRS is blowing out of the water SE models for the next for the rest of the year. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, they they uh the, I like PRS and they just seem to have they only have like a couple of different body styles that I know of, you know, and they're kind of just like the same thing. I can't really complain, I guess. Because I like Les Pauls, and I have a sh ton of Les Pauls. If you count all my Leo James plus the Epiphones that I have, I'm probably looking at about 30 Les Pauls that I have, body styles. So, I can't complain. I just I just love Les Paul look, I don't know. I won't buy a musician's friend, and I'll only buy from Guitar Center. Yeah, it's your choice, man. <laughs> if I play it first. There you go. I, I guess... That would be good, you know. The way you're getting hands on, you see what it is. You don't have to talk to anybody. Yeah, it's a good guitar. Uh, I do Amazon because of the free returns. There you go. Right. Yep. That works, man. Definitely. And like I said, I've had. God, I didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> I've over a half a dozen times I've been wronged with musician's friend. Sometimes they never fix the issue and, you know, pretty much called me a liar. So I'm like, okay, well, we're done with you, you know. And for the longest time, I thought, well, you know, I'll just, I still have credit there. I'll just give my guitar strings and whatever. And I was like, you know what? No, they ain't getting any more of my money or my business. I'm done. Never. And I haven't ordered from them for, since I got that guitar, that Chapman, which has probably been, Wow. I'm going to say about five years, maybe, or so. And another Chapman that I wanted, I before that, I tried to get through there. They lied about it, said they had it. I waited forever, and months and months and months and months. I like, kept asking them, oh, it should be coming, it should be coming. Blah, 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 blah. Next thing you know, I get an email, hey, we're that thing's on back order. We I don't think we're going to get it back in stock. Like, what? So then I went to Zounds, because Sweetwater doesn't carry Chapman, or I would have went there. So I went to Zounds. Uh, that was my first experience with Zounds, and they were pretty cool. Um, I don't have really anything bad to say about it. Uh, customer service was nice. Um, I just prefer Sweetwater, but um, I had no issues with Zounds. They have great deals and stuff, so I will never go to Musician Friend. Uh, just got a new wannabe hat. Oh, sweet, dude. Thank you. Have a great night, buddy. Go for that. Please. Thanks, man. Thanks for joining, Sean. Appreciate you. I want to see pictures. I want to see pictures of that hat, man. <laughs> awesome. Uh, my first PRS was a signature SE with the bat inlays. Um, do, 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 do. Insta one. She moved on me. It's the one that I still had. Freaking beautiful guitar. Nice. Cool, man. I think those are birds in flight is what it is. It looked like bats, unless you got a special type. But yeah, birds in flight is what they are. Instagram, baby. I'm holding you to it. We got you before. I remember you... What did you buy before? You bought a mug? Was it a mug and a t-shirt? I can't remember. But yeah, that was awesome, man. Thank you. Anything... Anything you guys can do, man, help out the channel. Appreciate it. <laughs> Had the wrong string pressed down. <laughs> now these were oh, bats, okay. Yeah, huh, cool. That'd be kind of cool. So, S signature SE. Huh. Was it a special, like, uh, like, uh, like an artist brand 
you know, like somebody endorsed it kind of thing. You know, like, hey man, this is a special from whatever. Sounds pretty cool. Okay, yep, gotcha. Help me out, Paul Al Allender. He sounds familiar. Allender. Paul Allender, Paul Allender. Oh, God. <laughs> Paul Allender. Who do you play, who do you play with, man? You're probably gonna tell me, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah. Cradle of Filth. Okay. For some reason, that name sounds familiar. I've probably heard some stuff. I got some buddies that's into some different kind of music that way, too. I know nothing about the band, but love the bats. Huh. Is it still available? I'd like to, I'd like to see that. <laughs> Cradle of Filth sounds like one of those uh, death metal bands where it's like rawr, 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 rawr. Uh, the music for that stuff's cool but I just the, the vocal I'll tell you my vocal limit for band would be like Slipknot oh it's not okay Slipknot is right on that verge of I can take it uh, Five Finger Death Punch I can take that pretty good awesome stuff um who else? Like Stone Sour. Stone Sour ain't that bad, but I'm talking like Death Metal Growl. Um, yeah, Five Finger Death Punch. Just just angers. Uh, but there's some of these guys, man. It's so low. It just sounds... do not even sound like they're singing anything. It's just, like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's see what he's talking about here, guys. Because uh, you, you strike my interest. Um, what was his name again? I'm trying to figure it out. Paul. A L L. Signature guitar. Well, I seen something there. It's beautiful. Ah, uh, wow. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't want to see that. Um. Let's see. Uh, da -dun -da -dun -da -dun. oh, okay, yeah, that is sick. Let's see if there's a better picture. I'll try to. Dude, that is cool. I like that. Let's see, try to pick the best picture here. I can pop up. Well, there you go. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. These are bats on the inlays. Whoa, crap. Kind of hard to see on there. Yeah, there you go. That is pretty sick, man. That's a sick looking guitar, brother. Nice. See if you can see the the bat on there, maybe. There it is, right on that fretboard. That's pretty sick, man. That is awesome. I do like that one. That is cool. I'm right on it. Yeah. Yeah. Vocals, I mean, like I said, that's my limit right there. I can't go much more. Yeah, 
Sam says, I missed that one. Sorry, Sam. Cradle of Filth is my kind of music. I grew up on black metal, death metal, and 80s goth songs. Sweet. I'm, somebody mentioned Cradle of Filth. Or um, maybe Ola, England or something. I don't know. I don't know about them vocals on there, though, man. It might be kind of <laughs> edgy for me. Uh, they're a British black metal band. Okay. Gotcha. I'm up to 3 PRS, Charcoal Burst, Tremonti SE, uh, and a Silver Sky SE. Sweet. Hey, man, PRS is... <laughs> they're, they're a breed of a different kind, to be honest, I think. Um, I've watched some of their videos on YouTube as far as their selection. They go through wood. And they, they'll sit there and knock the wood and pick certain woods. You know, it's like, well, this one will have, you know, awesome amount of sustain. And they're like, how do you know? Just listen. It's like, well, okay. And they, I mean, they're very selective with their woods and stuff, especially in their higher-end models. Uh, pretty cool. If you ever watch anything like that, it's it's pretty interesting. You have every single Cradle of Filth album. They must be pretty good then. Maybe I'll check them out, Sam. I don't know. Firefly has tried to duplicate it. Oh, have it really? And there's no, there's, and there's inlay stickers available. I put some on my donor. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Nice. Hey, Donner's pretty cool too. I mean, they're right there with like, uh, I guess Leo James and Harley Benton. They got some reliable things. I gotta play my haunting song. What is that, man? Maybe I'm thinking colors uh, from the Rockstar movie. Kind of, sort of sounds that way. I think I just named the song. Who knows? All right. Well, I'll play for a few more minutes here and talk, and then we'll get off here in a few. <laughs> That's why I like Les Pauls too. Get that cool little plucking sound. Do you play acoustic guitar? I actually have an acoustic guitar and my daughter has it in her room hanging up. Uh, it's an Ibanez. Uh, it's an acoustic electric. I've messed around with it. Um, I'm, not, I'm not banning acoustic guitar. I just, I'm not much of a picker, man. But, uh, you know, I may get the acoustic sometime and just try to figure that out, man. Oh, I down-tuned again. Did I? No? Okay, what am I doing? I don't know. I love that. I, what? Am I crazy? <laughs> anyway. But yeah, I, I, I like I like acoustic, man. I, that's when I learned to play when I was like nine years old. My dad had an old, um, I want to say Harmony. If you remember that brand, you're an old guy like me. <laughs> it was the worst guitar ever. I mean, back in the day. Uh, like I said, the strings were literally like that far off the neck. And I was just one string in it, bro. You know, one string in it. Um, but yeah, the acoustics of today are just kind of like a... You can get them really, 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 really... Kind of to play like an electric, man. They're really smooth. Um, you, they're really nice. I haven't, like, gone out and played a bunch of different acoustics, but, um, what is it, Alvarez? Or applause? Something that starts with an A. 
I played one of them in a music store. Those are very beautiful sounding guitars. Uh, the one I have in uh, my daughter's room is um, an Ibanez. And it's pretty nice. It's not a full size one either. It's more, it's acoustic electric and it plays like an electric guitar. It's really smooth. Um, the strings are real close to the neck. Sounds good. Change my profile picture to one with my old Paul. Oh, okay. Oh, let's see here. <laughs> you can tell when I get on the phone. Here it going. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's see. Man, we got 30 likes, guys. Thank you so much. Let's go to that live chat. Uh. Ah, gotcha. There he is. Nice. That's the Eclipse Rain, guys. Hey, man, if you guys want to go follow him, he does some cool shit over there, man. He's got some cool stuff on his channel. I check him out from time to time. Pretty cool dude. That's a good picture, man. I do like that guitar. I like the bats on there. It's pretty badass. Uh, might, ch might chase that lock... I mean, acoustic guitar. Change? Is that what you're talking about? The lock. The look. That, I think that's what you're saying. Yeah, lick, not lock. I gotcha. Might change that lick. Okay. Yeah, it might. You're right. Oh, I'm sure it would. Beautiful. <laughs> ah, go <going> crazy. <laughs> Try a Taylor. Okay. That's cool. I wonder I wonder if Leo James would ever come out with an acoustic. That'd be interesting. Uh let's see, especially since you're like Les Paul style guitars. Yes, right. I hear you, brother. I, I'm just a suck I think it's just because of Zach Wild, man. You know? And, well, you know, you had Cinderella. Uh, they played a lot of Les Pauls. You know, I just, I don't know, something about Les Pauls. I like Kramers. I got some Kramers. Uh, not the expensive kinds. I got those, uh, you know, the Beretta Specials. But they're awesome guitars, honestly. Maybe I could do that. Like, when we do live streams, you know, I'd be like, hey, man, we're going to hang out with some Beretta Specials tonight. Or we could hang out with this or do this, you know. Oh, no problem, man. No problem, Eclipse, man. I appreciate you. I appreciate you being here. You've been a supporter of the channel for a while. Um, I really do appreciate it. Yeah, Slash. Yep. Yep, Guns N' Roses. That's another one. I mean, I don't know. It's just something that uh, it, it vibes with me. I, I just I just feel comfortable with it, I guess, you know? And I guess it would look stupid with me, stupid to me, if I had like a shredder guitar and, and then playing rhythm. Yeah, you know, it just didn't wouldn't make any sense for us '80s kids. <laughs> Got that right. '80s. That's where it was. That's where it was. Sorry, sorry. If you guys are, uh, you know, born in the '90s, you missed out. You can go back and watch videos, but. Uh, for us living through it was amazing. All the bands that came out of the 80s just blew your mind. It's like, oh my God. It's not like today, man. Of course, you know, there's no uh, record sales like it used to be. You know, back in the day, it was like push. You know, it was like on the radio, on MTV, music television. Not this whatever the hell, what's this? I seen a uh, shirt, it had a big W and it said TF, you know, like <laughs> WTF television. You know, I was like, that's <laughs> pretty cool. But uh, back in the day, man, it was just like, oh my God, hey, Dawkins just released another album. You get the album, you're like, every song kicks ass except for like one, you know? And it's like, what? And then Motley Crue just came out in their album. You listen to it, every song kicks ass. Maybe, maybe one or two didn't jive so well, but. Every song was just rocking, man. You know, 
Rat. Rat was another good one. I mean, come on. Let's see if I can do some rat. Hang on. This is not the way you play it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> Big fan of the Tom Kiefer and his story of how his stroke. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good old Tom Kiefer, man. I remember, yeah, that was another thing in the 80s, the hair. It's like, <laughs> big hair. Big hair is in. I've got a Don, I've got three Donner guitars, had four, and gave one away to a friend. Two of, two of my acoustics are Ibanez, had Alvarez. Alvarez! I think that's what it was, Alvarez. That's what I played. Destroyed it, and even had an applause, strat, and acoustic. I, dude, I can't remember if it was an Alvarez or applause. Which one of them has the rounded back? Because that's the one I picked up. And it, I'm pretty sure it's Alvarez or applause. It had the rounded back on it. And it was, I think it was black, like a rounded black back. Remember Ugly Kid Joe? Yes, oh yeah. Are you the guys on the beach who hate everything? Zach Wild was definitely what got me in, interested in Les Paul. Yes, me too, man. Yes. Get it F done, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, he was he was the guy. That is for sure. Applause. Okay, that's probably the one I played then. <laughs> well, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Ovation sounds familiar, too. Anyway, it was a great guitar, whatever I played. I was like, man, this thing is really rich. Uh, just a full, full sound, man. That round back just made it different. It was cool. Fist bump back. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Heck yeah, man. I can't believe there's still ten of you in here. I love you guys, man. That's amazing. I, and that's what sucks about me doing a live stream once every month or so. It's like, hey, I never want to get off here. <laughs> you know, you guys are so interactive with me and asking questions. I ask you questions back. We just chill, hang out, rock it out, whatever we do, you know? See? Forgot I down tuned again. Is this your first live stream with me, man? 
I know you said you haven't been with the channel very long. Yep, Ovation was the... Or, okay, the 80s acoustic. Alright. I'll never know. But... Yeah. Well, it was before 2005. That's for sure. I'm talking like probably 90s. Oh, it is your first one. Hey, man, it's what we do. Usually, usually, I would probably unbox a brand new guitar, which just was brand new, but I did a video for it. Um, and I thought, hey, you know, we'll just do a live stream. Uh, maybe that's the way I'll do it from now on, you know? Unless, unless, I don't know. It's cool to do it. Like I said, it's so cool to do it live unboxing because that's where it, the magic happens because there's no editing involved. You see what it is right when it comes out of the box. Uh, you get my experience. Um, you know, and you can see right out of the box what you get, you know. And if it's complete trash, we're going to know right there from the get-go. Because it's not like I'm going to edit, to be honest with you, with this one. I spent maybe three minutes tuning it, tuning it up. And I raised this bridge just very slight. I'm talking like three-quarters of a turn. Just enough to get that uh, slight buzz that I had that bugged me off. Other than that, everything here was good. And I know I mentioned in the video that there was an issue with this uh, plug. Actually, it was my cord. I don't know what was going on. But we have no problem now. It plugs right in. Uh, it wasn't a jack after all. It was a cord that I had. It was one of them really cheap cheap cords, I think, that uh, you know comes with a guitar. Um, yeah, the cord is messed up. So I'm glad I didn't do any more damage to it. I mean, I can swap out the jack. It's no big deal. But that's what it was. Um, so yeah, but yeah, literally just tuning it, uh, sprayed some finger ease on there. If you don't know what the finger ease is, that just kind of helps make your strings nice and slip slippery and, you know, keeps your string top down, you know, that little, that'd be really loud sometimes without it. So, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. I'm pretty sure Phil Cohen was playing an ovation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right, oh man, I'm trying to remember that video, but yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> Perfect choice. I still can't believe it's only 89 bucks. I'll definitely be sharing this video. Please do, man. Anybody in here, please. I'm trying to grow the channel, man. I, you know, I joke around a lot on my on my channel when I'm doing the videos. You know, I think I made a reference to you know talk about your slow growers, right? Yeah, uh, you know, but. It does. It, it kills me. And, I mean, I'm no, I'm not, like I said, I know I'm not, like, the best guitarist in the world. But I do feel like I, 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 I need, I, I do feel like I, I've earned a little more subscribers than what I have. Um, especially views, you know what I mean? But, um, I've been here for, like, over 10 years. I think September, this past September 10th or 11th was my 10th year on YouTube. Um, now, to be fair... My first maybe five years or so was kind of like, ah, you know, back and forth. But, you know, when I, when I started doing DIYs, that's what brought a lot of people in. That's why I think if I do a DIY kit, that'll help push my subs, and we can hopefully try to get to 4K by the end of the year. Or that's the plan. Um, but I, I feel like I'm deserving of more subs than I have, you know, and I get people leave comments, man, you know, you're underrated. Why do you not have more subs? I don't know. Share my stuff. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't cost anything. Just share it out, man. You know, that's all I ask. Like, and, you know, like the videos, leave comments, interaction. That It all helps. Everything helps, man. And, you know, because the more you like a video, the more you share the video, the algorithm will pick that up and I'll be like, hey, man, you know, this, we need to start pushing this. People are liking it. You know, this guy shared it, da, 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 you know, and it picks up momentum and it'll keep going. Uh, really does help. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Robert. Did you see this part? Yes, a powered cab. Yes, I did see that. I wonder how that sounded. I, I bet you it sounds amazing, to be honest. I mean, I know it's not a huge cab. Uh, I don't is it 112 or is it a 212 cab? I can't remember. Um, I bet that sounds massive. Because uh, just the spark amp alone. Because I got the old, I don't have that single one. I got the, the, the bigger one when they first came out. 
Um, and it sounds amazing. Uh, I can only imagine putting that through like a 12-inch speaker, uh, what that would sound like. It's got to have a lot of thickness to it, you know. That is cool. I, I thought about getting one of them. I mean, it's only, what was it, 289 I think, for pre-order. And then it shoots up after that, after the pre-orders are done or something. You agree? Yes, thank you, man. Thank you, Robert, man. I appreciate you, dude. I really do. Um, I'm just trying to grow the channel, man. You know, it's it's fun. This is like a release for me. You know, you got work. You got the way the world is today. We're not going to talk about. You got, there's so much stuff in this world right now. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just happy to be able to be able to do something with music. Because uh, music's been in my family for many years. My sister is a pianist. My grandma was a pianist. My uncle played guitar. My dad played guitar and banjo. Uh, my, let's see, my grandmother. I mentioned my grandmother. <laughs> I mean, and she played she played piano. Um, I think my dad was actually in like a marching band too, you know. It, it's just, And it goes down from there. Like I think my great grandpa, he played guitar, you know. So it's kind of like in my blood and I just... I don't know. I've always had a fascination with music. I love music. I love playing. Um, you know, so it's just fun. <clears throat> a 10 inch, okay. But even 10 inch, man, compared to the 5 or 4 inches that's in those little speakers that you got right now, I bet it sounds amazing. I would love, to, I can't wait till those come out. 269 then 299 for, for after, okay. I mean, even two ninety nine is still not bad, I don't think. And it, it doesn't look to be very enormous, so it's not going to like take up a bunch of space. So it's just one 10-inch speaker then? And two tweeters, okay. I don't know why I was thinking it was two. I guess because it, it was kind of tall. But if it's just one 10-inch speaker, imagine the room that that has for the low end in that uh, cabinet, man. That'd be awesome. I hope you guys can hear me okay. I'd, Obviously can, because you would have said something by now. Uh, that's why I've been trying to check out the older videos, plus I think you're a hilarious and a great guitar player. Thanks, Robert, buddy. <clears throat> I've really started getting, like, nutty here the past few years. Um, like I said, within the past year or so, especially, because uh, I acquired this room. This was my son's room back in the day. Um, I was sad to see him go. He moved to PA. He got a job out. Uh, in PA so he moved out there his room was considerably bigger than what I had so I kind of took his room over um, so I just kind of like loosened up I started thinking you know what whatever let's just just have fun with it you know I mean you got serious youtubers and then which you can go serious for a while but and I'm, I'm here trying to keep your keep your interest you know what I mean and uh I think it works from time to time, you know. I mean, I can be pretty stupid. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thank you for the kind words, man. Appreciate it. Uh, I think you should do a Scully live chat. <laughs> uh, yeah, but resp responding to chat. Uh, that would be interesting. And I guess if I keep growing this, I'm going to go over my lips, right? Or you just do Scully noise like that, and you couldn't even tell. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe we could... That'd be kind of interesting. But do I really want to give him credit for anything? I mean, he's really screwed me over a lot. I mean, look at all the family members he ordered. And look, look, at, look at the stuff he does to my videos. He puts his little pop-ups in there. You know, crappy guitar player. Ah, I got a king, keep it in tune. Ha, huh, good job, dummy. Yeah, Jesus, are so stupid. You know, I don't really want to give him any showtime. <laughs> that would be funny, though. That would definitely would be funny. I carry the Spark 40 on the truck with me on the road. Oh, cool, you're a truck driver. Cool. Yeah, that would be awesome, man. Definitely get a lot of tones. I, I haven't upgraded mine, because, uh, you know, you get your... We got the updates and stuff. I, I have problems doing that. Uh, so I, I still have like the original, original type thing, which is still good. But I know, I know when they upgrade, you get like some like EQs and different things that would really probably make it better. 
<coughs> Skull and Blackjack for the win. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll look into that. You never know. That'd be kind of fun for like a Halloween live stream or something around that time. <laughs> Laughing my butt off, Jeff. Jeff Dunham barely hides talking. Right? Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, that would be funny. Yeah, you guys got some good inf guys got some good stuff, but then you got the Scorpion King here. Scully's got a lot to uh, lot to live up to, and these are not microphonic type pickups like you know like I did in a video. You can't hear me talking, you know, in these pickups at all. You know, it's not like you know, like I've done past videos with other ones. You could tell. Which is crazy, because Scully was like, when I got him, was about close to 200 bucks. And this is 89, and it's, I don't know what kind of pickups, I'm sure it's just Leah James type branded pickups. But uh, they're definitely uh, wound well, and, um, you know, waxed, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> yes, Halloween. Uh... It's hilarious. I kill you. Yeah, Ahmed. I kill you. Yeah, I like him too. He's funny. <coughs> Say it again. <laughs> uh, I got the Jim Jimi Hendrix add-ons on mine. Oh, do you? Cool. That would be awesome. I didn't even... So they got add-ons now? Just like different packets you can get? Maybe it's always been there. I just never really looked into it. That's cool. Get it again. A couple of you singing out there sound pretty good. <laughs> Sorry, had a text. Uh, let's see. Uh, did, uh oh, no, my dark pink. Uh, Dunham has multiple puppets. You, you, you have multiple guitars. You're, yeah, multiple. <laughs> right. <laughs> <coughs> yep, you got that right, man. So I need to really make it a point. We got to do... We'll, maybe we'll do that live stream with, with Scully or have him pop in for a segment of it. That would be kind of funny. I'm sure you guys got a lot of questions for Scully. <laughs> we can do that. But I got. I want to get the wedding, man. Scully and in, Scully. That's got to happen. We got to get it done. I promised you guys that, and I feel bad that I haven't done it. Um, you know, I'm just trying to get as many videos as I can get done with the time that I have. Uh, you know, because sometimes maybe I got you know a couple hours. Sometimes I have a half hour. Yeah. You know, so I do like certain segments, and it's like, oh, okay. I, I got to remember. I wore this shirt, this hat. Okay. You know, and then <laughs> I'll get to work, whatever. Come back the next day, do the second part of the video, you know, just get to be monotonous. Um, and then there's sometimes maybe I had three or four hours to play with, but uh, I do have to get that wedding done. I, I promised you guys, Scully's waiting for it, Scalena, she's waiting for it, so it's got to happen. I have to figure out how to get that heavy tune like that, Dave. It's not hard, man. Um, just drop the D. Drop the D. Get you some, uh, a lot of distortion. Crank the bass up. Wherever you like your mids and stuff. Like I said, this is a preset on this amplifier. Favorite preset. Favorite amp. And you got it. And then 
not only that, you can you can do the, but just add that. Just bar the first two strings, then to do your power chord. You gotta throw a harmonic in there, make yourself look cool, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, we kid Joe started me on back so I have a, with that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that cover. That's pretty good. <clears throat> Believe it or not, Rick, Spiegel, Rick Springfield come play Jimi Hendrix, and it's like Jimi Hendrix is there. If you close your eyes, such an under. Yeah, he is. He is. There's a lot of under, like, underestimated guitar players, man. I mean, if you really stop and think about it, and it's like guitar players you just don't think about, you know? It's crazy. You know, like, um, oh, what's the guitar player for Rat? Steve, is it Steve? God, I can't remember his name. Uh, you know who I'm talking about. He's an awesome guitarist, dude. Um, then actually one that surprised me was Steve Stevens from uh, Billy Idol. Uh, me and my sister went to see Billy Idol, oh man, 20 years ago in Columbus. Um, he really surprised the shit out of me. He was small dude, very small dude. Warren, yes, Warren uh, D something. <laughs> Can't remember the name. Anyway, awesome guitarist. But Steve Stevens really surprised the crap out of me. Uh, you know, you just get used to him playing certain songs, and you're like, oh, well, that's all you can do. Yeah. <laughs> but, but live, he really blew us away. And when he did his guitar solo, he threw some classical stuff in there and just mixed it up. He was he blew me out of the water. I was like, wow, this little dude just rocks, man. Martini. Thank you, D. Martini. Yes, Warren D. Martini. Ha. Yeah, he's a badass dude. Just just like George Lynch. A lot of people don't give George Lynch any credit, man. You know? Everybody thinks of the basics. Oh, Eddie Van Halen. Yeah. Right. But, uh, yeah, George Lynch was just the man. Ah. And D. Mardini, the same way, you know? They have so many great tunes, man. So many. So you are... Really making Scully wait. <laughs> yeah. Ah, well, <laughs> will it be a white wedding? I was planning to say that before you brought up Leado. <laughs> right. Uh, it's probably going to be a black wedding. Because, uh, you know, well, I don't know. I mean, Scullyana kind of, she, she's kind of white and gray, you know. I don't know. It's going to be a match made in hell. Uh, they're gonna. They are working. I know they worked on it before. They're working on their vowels. It's gonna be uh, something you've never heard before. I know that much. So, pretty cool. No, no kidding. I guess I never knew that. That was before my just actual thinkings of stuff. But that's cool. I mean, I could see that because they kind of have that same vibe of playing. You know. They like to hit them pinch squeals and stuff like that. Yeah, I could definitely see that. But I didn't know that. That's pretty cool, man. That's a nice fact there, Mr. Uh, Mr. Dan Butler. I took, uh, I took three guitar lessons from Robin Crosby in the mid-90s when he lived in El Paso, Texas, very briefly. He was my favorite rap member. Sweet. Cool, man. That'd be awesome. I'm sure you got a lot out of that, too. That'd be cool. There's a recent interview with really... Oh, no kidding. Yeah, that's a, that's an interesting fact. I never really knew that. Awesome stuff. Holy crap, guys. I bored you for four hours almost. It's crazy. It was a rap post. Cool. Yeah, that would be interesting to see. I can't believe there's still 11 people in here. <laughs> you guys are cool. You could be doing anything else, but you're hanging out with me. 
I appreciate it. I really do. I appreciate it so much. 31 likes. Man, you guys are amazing. But we will definitely try to do the Scully live stream. Maybe a Q&A with Scully. Um, then we'll do... Or, you know, it could be like a sit-down interview video. A Q&A uh, Scully where I like... I could read the questions to Scully, and then Scully could answer them that way. Or we could do the live stream. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll leave a uh, thing on the community tab, have you guys vote for it, see what wins. Either way, it'd be kind of full. It'd be cool. I think that'd be funny. I just running my tempest through the Octavia Fuzz. That is so wicked. Oh, I bet. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to those new tempests. They look, they look, they look wicked. Can't wait. Also, Dom played all the guitar parts, or all the guitar on this functional. Lynch only put a solo on too high to fly. Oh, really? Interesting. Very interesting. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love George Lynch. Yeah. George Lynch. Something like that. <laughs> Wicked sensation, man. Wicked sensation. Oh my gosh, my back is killing me. <clears throat> I just miss... I miss the... Uh, I miss the old days, man. Back MTV. You know, you got to see the bands and stuff. It was... It was cool, you know. It just drew you in. You got to see the bands. You, you, you just had a connection. Now it's just like, oh, hey, what? They're streaming an album? I didn't even know they had an album out. What's going on? What? You stream it? I, huh? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a weird world we live in. I listened to Dawkins back for the attack. Great album. Great album. Kiss of Death. Uh, Night by Night. Those are those were awesome. I, I that album kicks ass. Heaven Sent. Uh let's see. Seems no justice when you fall in love. Love that album. That was a great album. Uh, what else is on that? Oh, uh, like a flame. I think that's what it was called. Yeah, that was back when you had the. Uh, remember the skull guitar? His skull guitar, it's just like skull and bones everywhere. That's a badass guitar, man. I got a, min a couple miniature versions of that. They're pretty badass. Yeah, now I'm going to have to listen to that album. I love that album. <sighs> Under Lock and Key, Back for the Attack. Yes. Oh, my God, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yep. Yeah. I don't know if I can play it right. Love that song. Dream Warriors. We're the Dream Warriors. Yep. Tooth and Nail was awesome. Front to back. Yes, it was, man. Race of Slate was awesome. From 2000. You know what? I don't know if I heard that one. Sadly. That was around that time, man, where you didn't know if something came out unless you 
you know, back then they still had music stores. If he was in a music store, he, he was like, holy crap, I didn't even know they had an album out. It's like, wow, there it is. And he had actually buy it, but now everything was streamed and, you know, you had to buy it and online or whatever. I mean, you can still get, you can still get the CD or vinyl now. Vinyl's ridiculous. I remember when vinyl was out, it was like, stream it. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> Um, I remember when vinyl came out back in the day. Of course, come on. Inflation. But anyway, <laughs> vinyl's ridiculous. You can still find all these good albums and stuff like that on vinyl, but they're like 30 bucks. I mean, back, back, I, I know I'm dating myself. I'm sorry, I'm an old guy. Uh, I remember when vinyl came out, you can get it for like, you know, $9.99, $8.99. It was just, wow. And it was, the vinyl they have now is so much thicker. And it doesn't even fit the record player I have. I got an old record player, and it don't even fit. I bought a couple of records. I'm like, okay, this sucks. So I could either, it's like the hole, the hole was too too small. So I thought, oh, I could always drill it out, you know, a hole bigger. And I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna mess with it. But you had to buy like the newer, freaking, um, you know, record player to play them. It's like, I ain't into all that. I'll just do CD. It's just something about having that copy, that hard copy of a CD right there in front of you. It's like, whoa, man, you can sit there and read the lyrics, and it's like, whoa. <clears throat> October 25th, I think, new Dawkins CD, and sadly, Don Dawkins says it'll be the last. Yeah. I seen Dawkins back, oh, man, it's been more than a decade ago. He was on that teeter-totter where his vocals were, like, starting to go. Not as bad as they are now. Um, and so he sings them totally different now. It's just like, he sings at a different pitch, you know. His voice is shot. I mean, look at Vince Neil. Vince Neil was probably one of my favorite, other than Aussie or whatever, but, like, raspy, raw rock. You know, Knock em Dead Kid, Shout the Devil. All those kick-ass songs from Motley Crue, dude. Uh, you know, and his vocals are done. Plain and simple. I mean, and it's it's going to happen, man. I mean, they screamed their lungs out, man. They screamed that shit. So now it's just like, you know, they're paying the price. And Don, Don Dawkins was an awesome singer, too. Um, definitely a different style. Yeah, he's Vince is a joke, I know. I would... Probably be mad at you, but <laughs> hey, you're not lying. I mean, it's sad to see him try to sing now. He just, because he don't even sing the lyrics. He's just like, wah, 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 wah. just kind of make something up as he goes, and he's way out of pitch. So, but yeah, I, uh, I, he was, he was a badass back in his day, that's for sure. I seen, I didn't see the original Motley Crue, but I did see Vince Neil with a bunch of guys. They were all dressed up like Nick and Mick and, you know, all them guys, but it's just, and Tommy, but, uh, and the music was kick ass, and he still had his vocal back then, that was like 20 years ago, it was Al Rosa Villa in Columbus, he rocked it, it was amazing, just rocked it, <clears throat> Axel, yep, he's, it depends on the song he sings, I guess, my boy just went and seen, uh, Guns N' Roses not too long ago there, I think it was in Pittsburgh, he said the show was amazing. Um, you know, he said his vocals were 50-50. Eh, <clears throat> Don Dawkin does... Yeah, I know he does, yeah. So it probably has something to do with his issues, vocals. Every, yeah, I'm sure it does. It's just sad, though, man. Such a great singer, and then... You know, when you're wanting those high, high notes when he's singing, and it's just like, uh, you know... <laughs> sings it low and just takes the song to a totally different place. It's like, this was cool. But I mean, you know, at least they're still getting the good music. You know, the music still kicks ass. Speaking of Vince Neil and Steve Stevens earlier, uh, that first solo album is still a favorite of mine to listen to. Solo album of Vince... I'm, I'm kind of lost on that one. Help me out there, Dan. Sorry, Bubba. I probably know what you're talking about, but... Oh, God. 
If you are a singer, don't smoke. Yep. Protect your instrument. Exactly, man. There's all kinds of little tips and stuff. You know, like drinking hot tea and honey and things like that. Help your voice. Vince exposed. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're talking about that whole CD. That that CD kicked ass. That was awesome. Um, Sister of Pain. Oh, my God. I love that song. Sister... Sister of pain, she's a knock down, drag it out, pick it up, do it again. Oh man, and uh, you're invited, but your friends can't come. And yeah, that CD was kicked ass. I think that's what you're talking about. I said exposed, I think that's the name of it. I love that CD. That was probably on his down spiral right there, shortly after that. Um. Just came in, the scorpion mentioned something to do with with an orange <laughs> guitar machine. No, sorry. It's a Leah James model for 89 bucks. Uh, they don't make it anymore, but it is a killer guitar. Thank you for joining, man. I've been on here forever, four hours. We've been waiting for you. to own a scorpion tribal damn my contacts are messing up dude in a in a prior life <laughs> awesome i just thought that graphics cool though so yeah pretty cool stuff oh i see yes are you new to the channel man uh, i don't remember seeing you in a live stream not that i do them very often <laughs> That's why I'm here for four hours. If you are new, hey, subscribe. We're trying to hit 4K by the end of the year, man. Uh, so I can do a giveaway of something or stuff. Who knows? That would be cool, man. Um, you know, hit that like. Uh, share the videos like Robert. Robert, I appreciate Robert. Robert, Robert, uh, Robert does some awesome stuff for me, man. I appreciate you. Uh, John Bon Jovi smoke, whoa, smoked his voice with cigarettes. Yeah, that that is another one. I forgot about uh, Bon Jovi. Yeah, damn long stream. Well, here's the here's the problem. <clears throat> here's the problem. I don't do live streams very often. Uh, if I got into a habit of doing them like every two weeks or something, I wouldn't be on here so long. It's just, I get in here, and certain groups of people show up, and we haven't talked for a while, and we just like to chit-chat and hang out, you know, maybe check out something, you know, new that I got, or an unboxing, and we just sit around and bullcrap for a while, you know. We'll get up to a certain amount of people, and then those people die off, and I usually have about 10 to 12, 13 here and there. And I just, I don't know, I just feel bad. It's hard for me to get off here. <laughs> Uh, and John let himself go now, and he looks like <laughs> B. B Arthur from the Golden Girls. <laughs> uh, yeah. <sighs> That's the same way with Vince. Vince has gained, I haven't seen him lately, but I know there's a picture a few months back, man. He was just, he gained a lot of weight. Barely looks like the guy. Dan said, I smoked until I got in a cover band, singing three to four hours, so I quit, still don't, I used gummies to keep the vocals, ah, nice, but, and smooth, rough and smooth, don't sing out much, but gummies is still here, <laughs> can't go wrong with the gummies, brother, yeah, there's, <clears throat> I never considered myself a singer, Per se, but you know, like a lot of my older songs that I done like 20 years ago, uh, I was more of a screamer, I guess. I, I got a lot of compliments on some of my stuff. You know, they <laughs> some of them would call me uh, 
you know, Brett Michaels. So I kind of sound like Brett Michaels a little bit. Um, don't know that to be true, but hey, whatever. Oh, again, that's not gummies. <laughs> hey, man, the gummies work too, you know? Keep you happy, right? <laughs> that's for sure. Again, that's not a fart. Not a fart. <laughs> still you see me how many times i've tuned to some four hours probably what i didn't tune it really it's just like the g string went out slightly and i think one time the uh low e went down because i bumped it or something <coughs> uh let's see any of your vocals on your video list yes um if you go into my playlist and look for like uh you'll see the album covers let me see here. Hang on. Ah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, you'll see these up online. He's got like this and here has seven songs. This is the last one I did. This was back in Jesus, 2014. But yeah, you'll hear some vocal stuff on that. You'll hear vocal stuff on all these actually. This one here. 2007 it's got like nine or ten songs on this one like i said the sound quality isn't the greatest you know uh but you know you'll get the gist of it sounds pretty decent this one here 2006 that was a good one i like that one this is my very first one this is 1999 1999 man well or was it wait a minute some of the songs were written in 1999. I can't even see it, dude. Wow. Okay, some of the songs were written in 1999, but some of these were done in like 2001, so I think I actually recorded it in like in 2001, 2002. So like right between the eyes, that was right after the the fun stuff we had happen in, uh, you know, 2001, uh, you know, here in America. So I wrote a song about that. But yeah, so. <clears throat> I love that guitar, man. I really regret, I'm really regretting not getting one. I'll trade you a glary. <laughs> ah, sorry, Bobby. Uh, if this is the last one in existence, I want to, uh, I want to keep it, and I want to shelter it, and I want to hug it and love it. So, that's desperation, <laughs> not an insult. The Glary Offer. I know. Yeah. I Like I said, I just... I've seen it for a while. And I'm like, man, that's kind of cool. But I was kind of leery. Jesus. Sorry, guys. But I was kind of leery when I got it. <clears throat> but, um... Because when, when I got it... Uh, you know, it was, always, it was always 120. I think it was 119, 118. I'm thinking, man, I don't know. You know, I didn't know what to expect. I thought maybe it'd be garbage. I wasn't sure, you know, for that cheap. And uh, I, by surprise, it dropped to 89. I thought, okay, I'm pulling, I'm pulling the cord. Got it. Are your CDs still available? I've never sold them, per se. I mean, to friends and people I have around me. Yeah, I mean, I've sold CDs that way. Um... I have been told by many people that, you know, if you if I put it up, like, online or something, you know, through, like, what, whatever streaming services they have, or you can download stuff. I think it's CD Baby, and there's a couple other ones. Uh, you know, a couple people would definitely buy some, but, and I do appreciate that. And I may have, I may do it at some point. I My mom had always tried to get me to do that. She's like, you know, you need to, you need to put your music out there. Do this, do that. And I never did. Um, I'm not saying I won't, but you know, hey, for the time being, you can still get on 
uh, YouTube and listen to my stuff, man. Um, I mean, like I said, quality's not the greatest, but, uh, and you would laugh your ass off if I told you how I recorded all of those. Well, at least the first couple. Definitely the first one was like, blew my mind. Blew a lot of people's mind how I did that. Um, yeah, I, I mean, like I said, as far as like buying them online or anything, no, they're not available that way. Um, you know. Yeah, I had one review when I looked and it was bad, so I missed out. Yeah, see, I kind of got scared too. That's why the SG, uh, they got a new uh, SG model out. It's coming, so stay tuned for that. You may be interested. And uh, like I said, the also the new Tempests as well. I might have, I know I got one coming, possibly two. Pretty exciting. Whereabouts in the country are you? I am in Ohio, the Buckeye State. Lots of people love, lots of people hate. I'm kind of like... In between. I've lived here all my life. <clears throat> Greetings. Hey, Mark. <laughs> Gas station. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, thanks for joining, buddy. Man, I've been here for... I've been here for days. <laughs> uh, I used the karaoke duel as I my first radio recordings in 93. Hey, man. That's... Nothing wrong with that. Uh... I actually, before I started recording any, like, my very first stuff, God, this is kind of embarrassing, but, I mean, it's funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> While you were doing myself, um, my stuff, here, here's, here's how I started out doing stuff on my own. I took, like, drum samples from other cassette tapes, right? Like, um, I think the band's name might have been Dirty Looks, and it might have been a song called uh, I Put a Spell on You or something like that, or some something to do with spell, I don't know. Anyway, it had like a, I think a 15 second drum intro, it was just like boom, tsh, boom, tsh, boom, tsh, boom, tsh. so I recorded that, okay, uh, on a cassette, I take it cassette to cassette, I record it, write it right when I did a fill, you know, like tsh, 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 stop, rewind back. Record it again, and <laughs> do that for like you know eight or nine times, ten times, whatever it was, you know where I get like a couple minutes, right? And <laughs> so I do that. Then I come in with my guitar, uh, which would be kind of crappy. Basically, gosh, it was like the worst amp I ever had in my life. I can't even remember the name of it, but I used a microphone from a karaoke machine. Kind of mic'd it that way. And, uh, well, actually, I'd done that. And I also used, just like the boombox, you know, just push record. Just have an open room. <laughs> and then I'd play along with it, uh, you know, while the other thing was just playing in the background, just kind of play that way. <laughs> Some really weird stuff. Uh, I've also had to the point where I'd have that drum beat, or I would be playing guitar, and, like, my brother-in-law at the time, we had, like, little tins you know, like cookies and stuff come in or coffee cans and stuff. We'd set them up on the bed and had some sticks, you know, and we'd just like sit there and be like, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're an original looper. <laughs> right. Uh, so then it's like I would sit there, I'd be playing, playing whatever, you know, because I thought I was a badass. Just pretty much one string. I didn't even know the A chord back then. But uh, anyway, I'd be doing that, and then my brother-in-law's ever just pounding on these things. <laughs> it's it was the worst sound you ever heard in your life. <laughs> but you know, that's how I started doing stuff back then. And then uh, lo and behold, years later, uh, the old um, Tascam twenty uh, Tascam eight track came out. Just the old eight track. I, actually, I had. I'm pretty sure I still have two of those. One is still in a box I never used. Uh, and the other one has been used and abused. Uh, that's what my very first one that you would hear, the Right Between the Eyes CD that I did, that's what that was recorded with. Didn't do too bad. And I, 
I'm thinking, I can't remember if I did my second one with that or if that's when I got the Digitech guitar workstation. But, uh, yeah, it's some crazy stuff, man. Wow. Uh, let's see. I'm originally from Kenton, Ohio, and lived in Lima for a while. Oh, cool, man. Whereabouts are you now? You might have told me. I can't remember. <laughs> but, yeah, that, the crazy things that we do, man, you know, I I don't know. And then the way that I put this on CD is just insane. Oh, that'd be a whole video. That'd be a whole crazy video, honestly. <laughs> Sorry, South Bend, Indiana. That's right, man. I'm sorry. I seen it was Tunes to Gray, and he asked me that. But yeah, I'm in Ohio, so he hasn't responded back. Hopefully, you're still here. Everybody else is. I'm holding steady at 10 or 11 people, man. You, you guys kill me. I, <laughs> I am a sucker. I can't get off of here. <laughs> This year's four pad drum. Oh, I forgot about the drum machine. I had a Yamaha. Uh, I may even still have it somewhere. A Yamaha four pad thing. Probably very similar. Uh, with built in beats. Yep. And you could assign the pads. Uh, you could only set the. You could only set the beats. Uh, I did. One whole side of a nice. <laughs> <laughs> every night and the night before my oldest daughter's first birthday <laughs> oh yeah i remember when i first got that man it's four pads that it was on there um i can't remember how many drums like you actually you know it came with a certain amount of drum beats or whatever and you could also set it to where you had uh you could assign the pads you know different kick drums snare drums um symbols and things like that cowbell whatever you want to need more cowbell uh, man those are the days crazy stuff man some of the worst recordings I think I've ever done I think I still have them somewhere they're on cassette though it'd be kind of I don't even know if I have anything I could play them on I mean I'm not going to do it tonight but it'd be just kind of weird to go back and listen to some of that That was, that was on an applause strat. Okay, yeah. Awesome. The good, my first guitar, my first electric guitar, which I traded some video games for, um, it's called State of the Art. And it was kind of like a strat tile, style type body. Um, it wasn't bad. It was like candy apple red. I mean, you know, these days it'd probably be crap, but <clears throat> yeah, those are good old days. What amp am I using? I'm using the, uh, the Black Star ID TVP 260. It is a solid state amplifier with emulation tubes. My favorite amplifier, guys. My favorite one. <laughs> Love it, Amp. Uh, could you assign them on mine? Oh, a friend said that I would be a great industrial metal guitarist. There you go. Oh, you couldn't assign them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure mine was a Yamaha. Uh, but the... <laughs> of course, you know, you got to remember, that was like probably 30 years ago. The drums were just... <laughs> They sounded great back then. I was like, wow, it's the best thing ever, man. But, you know, going from tin cans to that was like a big deal. 
big deal. And I'll tell you, my uh, my drums changed from the Yamaha and went to a Casio keyboard, which had a lot of drum beats built in. Uh, and I add I do add-ins and stuff, and that was really good. It was one of those like hundred and fifty dollar keyboards, and it sounded really good. Uh, then I went from that to my uh, guitar workstation from Digitech. Had a lot of drums, and they were, they sounded decent. I was very impressed. That's when I got into the digital recording. I got away from the uh, cassette. Then I went to the you know just eight track digital recording, and it was amazing. Sounded amazing. Um, so yeah, that was my that was my experience into the digital world. Night and day, which was cool because on the eight track, if you had an eight track, you know what I mean, because you record like two or three tracks, you bounce it down to one. You go back, you put another couple in there, maybe some vocals, some bass, and whatever, add a guitar, and da 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 da. But the more you did that, and you started playing it back, you started getting... Started hearing all that extra hissing sounds. It's like, oh boy. And I found with the Digitech, with the digital recording, you didn't have that. I mean, there's some songs, I believe, whatever I did with those, I just had them. Oh, there they are. Uh, I believe it's on Spiritual Demise, that album. Uh, I, there were some of them songs. I have I had probably 13 or 14 tracks, and there was no hiss. I was like, this is awesome. <clears throat> Does Blackstar have a good practice amp? That sounds easy. Yes. Uh, right over here. You can see, Let's see if I can get my thumb there. This here is the Black Star Debut 50. It's plain bones. I think it has reverb on it. Uh, it has an effects loop. Sounds really good. I did a video on that if you want to go look it up and hear it. Sounds really good. Um, and then the one above that right here is the ID Core V3. Awesome amplifier. You can actually plug it in to the computer. And you can fine-tune things. You can get into uh, different things that way and make it sound even better than it does. Uh, both of these, this one here, uh, runs around 200 and something, I believe. And this one here is around 160, I want to say. Um, I can't remember the exact price. I know I left links in those videos. Uh, but Blackstar sent those over for the channel to do reviews on, which I was... Very, very excited about and awesome. Uh, Black Star's been very good to me. <clears throat> First guitar was a PV Patriot. It sucked because I sucked. Hello. <laughs> Took my first and only lesson to get to finance a guitar. Ah. Yeah. I don't even think I heard of a, of a Patriot. It's crazy. Let's see. First guitar was 91. Daughter's birthday was 94. Huh. Nice. That was your first guitar. How old are you, man? I'm 50. I, I picked up my first guitar. That acoustic piece of crap harmony from my dad. Oh, boy. I would have probably been... I'm going to say like 7, which would have made, it probably been about 1980 or 81. That's when I first, very first, started plucking around and messing around. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, you're welcome, Robert. I think you're talking to me. If uh, Oh, yeah, 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 you are. Yeah, Blackstar, man, I'd, I don't know. There's other amps out there, but. I don't know. Black Star's awesome, man. I, I just I love their tone, everything. Hey, you guys hear it. I mean I'm playing through Black Star right now. I have I bought all these other Black Stars, but these these those two there they sent they sent over to the channel. I bought that that one that one and uh, this one. That's the uh H T sixty stage. It's a tube amplifier. It's very very nice amplifier. I don't play it much just because it's tube and 
you know, you got to have a noise gate and all that stuff. The, the amp I'm playing right now actually has a noise gate built in, which is nice. Volume's all the way up on the guitar. Can't tell. <laughs> quiet and I can tell you you turn that baby up halfway this room shakes and there's no noise no feedback whatsoever that's why I like it and I also had the black star uh, 15 ID um, same as what I'm playing on just very small no 10 inch speaker these are two 12 inch speakers <clears throat> Uh, 50, you were get yeah, you're 50, okay, you're 18, okay, gotcha, you're agent 56, buddy, I'm catching you, I'm catching up, when you're 56, I'll be 56, <laughs> sadly, you're, you're always going to be six years older than me, but I'll be 56 someday, and then I'll be ancient, so in six more years, what will you be? If you're ancient now, man, you're going to hit those dreaded 60s, man. Whew. I'll tell you right now, 50s aren't treating me too good. The end of the 40s is really a nightmare for me. Uh, i got a lot of hip issues with arthritis and uh, a bone spur to boot in that same area. It's pretty fun times. Love it. <laughs> Robert also, just to let you know, I mean, I'm not a big fan of it, but it's still a good amplifier, honest to God, but I just, just black star for me, in my opinion. Um, Boss, Boss makes some good practice amps too. Uh, the Katanas, you want to check them out. Um, I think the, just the 112 inch speakers, a couple hundred bucks, maybe two and a half, something like that. Pretty good though. <clears throat> I mean, Ancient and... And here's the sounds like, in here it sounds like, okay, <laughs> I'm 62, oh man, come on man, don't, you just, I mean, we'll all be 62 someday, you know, but hey, you know what, you're still rocking because you're here, rocking with docking. Something like that. <laughs> uh, I started for two reasons. I sang in a garage band with, with a cousin who wanted me to play rhythm, and I wanted to enjoy... Oh, and you wanted to play in your Sandman. Where did I get enjoy at? <laughs> yeah, good old inner Sandman, right? <laughs> that for a coon's age. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I've heard of them and they have the brown sound. Yep. It just, the Black Star has so much more. Um, well, I'm sorry. I'm speaking on behalf of the uh, one I'm playing through. And honestly, the V3 is very similar to what I'm playing through. That one there is very similar to what I'm playing through. It's just on a very smaller scale. But it sounds really good. Um, you know, you 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 can get very close to the sound that I have. From that, uh, and like I said, if you get on the computer and you can play the software, you can make it make it even sound better. So, or I'm assuming I've seen videos. Uh, I can't get the software to work for me because I have an old computer. I think that's the problem. Uh, got the same issues you do with arthritis and bone spurs. Fun, ain't it? Yeah, it's a good time. I'll tell you what, I never experienced anything like it. It sucks. And uh, I've been dealing with it for about a last year and a half or so. <clears throat> and 
you know, it's funny because I'll lay there in bed. And I'm like, oh my God, why do I hurt so bad? And I get up in the morning and it's hard to walk sometimes. And I look outside and I'm like, oh, it's raining. Rain is not my friend. I don't like rain. The cold weather is going to be interesting. I think I, I could honestly probably just deal with the arthritis. It's just that bone spur. Um, really gets you. One of my favorite amps I have is the Cube amp. Yeah, they are a nice amp. I, I know a couple people have those. I never got one, but they are cool. They sound really good. Um, and the Caline Lacorn amp. Oh, I didn't know Caline made amps. That is what I want is your sound. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, man. Uh, you can still you can still find uh, the ID two sixties. Uh, you can probably get them on eBay. People are selling them for maybe two two hundred bucks roughly, which is a steal. I would love to get another one just just as a backup because I want to play it for the rest of my life. <laughs> if I if I had to keep one amplifier in the entire in my entire room, and I have probably 15 different amplifiers, it would be that one. That is for sure. It's just such a great amp. I have a cage. Oh, you have a cage in your lower back, titanium pins and screws, and uh, occupational. Oh, yeah. I mean, you sound like my sister. My sister's got a, She's a mess. She's had cages and screws, steel rods. Uh, fusions, even in her neck. I mean, she's just a mess. She's she is fifty six or fifty seven. She she's dealt with that stuff for like thirty some years. So I'm getting the late end of it. Uh, don't I'm not happy. Uh, I like Fender practice amps, but I use Boss G six. Yeah, GT six. Okay. Mobile bass amp when I want. To get loud, I use these for lighter weight because I have, yeah, muscle issues too. Hey, it's like the old folks' home. Welcome, everybody. Don't forget to take your pain, pain medications. Okay. I'm probably going to need a walker, honestly, when we get done because I can't really, I ain't going to be able to stand. Just, oh my God, just to go like that. Just, <laughs> it hurts. <clears throat> Dude, Black Star's. I don't know. I, I don't want to be like, a, you know, hey, it's the only amplifier. But in my opinion, that's my experience. I've played Blackstar for over a decade, man, or probably longer than that. And I can't remember when I did the video of uh, the very first one, that little practice amp that I got back in the day. It's just like this one, like I said, a little 10-inch speaker, though. But it sounds amazing. And if you go back and find that, you probably just type in six-string Stanger Blackstar, I've done a couple of different videos of Black Star, but look for the one that's the uh, little 15-watt 15, 15 practice amp. It's got a lot of views, man. It's probably like 50 or 60,000 views. But in that video, it's like no talking. I just go through each setting. You listen to the same riff over and over. But to me, when you're doing a video like that and you want to hear different sounds, it makes sense to play the same riff over and over because, you know, if you play, you know, if you're playing this, you know, and then you switch it to a different setting, you're like, why wouldn't you just play the same thing? I know it gets redundant, but you can just hear, that way you're hearing the tonal quality, you know, to switch it again, switch it again, it'd be like switching the neck pickup, right? Here. You know? That way you can hear the different sound quality each one of the same riffs have. But yeah, look it up, man. Um, it's an awesome amplifier. <clears throat> I wish they would re-release the uh, TVP series because they are awesome. Like I said, they came out the Silver Line. The Silver Line, same type of stuff, but it's just voiced a little differently. Um, more of a hollowy, woody sound, I guess, maybe you want to say. Um but I, I just love it. I, I feel like it's turning into a Black Star stream. <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's see. Dan said, just so you know, I'm comfortable on 
on a couch with, <laughs> with, okay. It's not gummies and whiskey, okay. It's Guinness, I got you. That's good. I hope I put you to sleep. <laughs> I may, be, I may be one of those guys to fall asleep in a live stream. Oh, you never know. Gosh, it's after ten o'clock. I've been on here four and a half hours. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um. Yes, yeah, same rest, different settings. Exactly. It, it makes more sense to me. I can't, it drives me nuts when somebody's like got a multiple thing. Like let's say a multi-effects pedal. It's got all these different sounds and stuff. Different tones and they just, they go off on a tangent. Oh, let's play a lead tone on it. Okay, and we'll go over here. Oh, let's play, let's play an awesome heavy riff now. Oh, let's do this. And it's like, you're not giving me, I want to hear what that sounds like every time. You know what I mean? I just want to hear the same riff. I have a positive grid spark. That's awesome. I have that too. That's a pretty cool little amp for when... Oh, sorry. When I don't feel like buying my two... My, yeah. It is. Yeah. It is. And uh, were you in here earlier? You know, they talked about the, the cab they're releasing for... I can't remember who even said it. I know it's 269 pre-order and then 299 after that, I think. Or 289 Something to think about. Pretty cool. <clears throat> That'd be some quality instrument watching. You smart. Oh, entertainment. Jeez, I can't even read, man. I'm tired. <laughs> right. That would be. <laughs> uh, Prego viral. Uh, let's see. I don't usually live stream, but this has been fun. Right. Right. Yeah, it's been it's been fun, man. It's gonna be painful for me later, but it's been fun. Yes, I'm still here. <laughs> Help me, please. Yes, for the Spark 40. I think it's for all the Sparks. Like the the Mini, and then the one that has the, the one speaker, and then, then the Spark 40 like we got. Yeah, check it out, man. Uh, go look it up. Cab for Spark 40, or uh, Spark Cab. Pretty cool, man. I, I'd like to get one myself, honestly. The Rolling Rockstar has to be wearing it's It's gone. It's gone. I've already talked about possibly getting a walker in here to get me out of the room. Thank God my phone is almost dead. <laughs> I gotta go get my charger. <laughs> it's only 9 p.m. here in Arkansas. Wow, boy, I don't... Twenty, ga twenty gamer girl. <sighs> yeah, I'd like to go to sleep. Uh, if you asked about Tummers, that's our cat. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it's my daughter in here. How you doing? I think uh, he's doing all right. I got him some different stuff. I need to go check on him. Honestly, here soon. Hope he's okay. <laughs> Having fun with no drugs or booze. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> I know. I know it was you. I figured it was you. Ah, oh, Sue said pumpkin walk was awesome. Man, yeah. sorry we couldn't go. Was it very muddy? Because it's been raining here. It's been raining a lot. What do you mean, check on it? Oh, you know. He's fine. He's okay. <laughs> now, um, so, you know, this, hey, we've got family in here. <laughs> so, we have a cat that has some uh, flea issues, I guess you want to say, uh, from an outdoor cat. And uh, these fleas have gotten so much crazier over the days, and uh, 
you know, when my daughter was down, she took a flea comb, got some, tried to get as much fleas off as she could at the time. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of crops uh, that's popped up. And um, so I went to Walmart and I got a spray. They spray on him. Uh, I read the reviews. I got like four and a half out of five with like, I think it was over 5,000 reviews. Um, you just kind of ruffle his fur. You spray, I think it's set up to four sprays per pound. So I did like maybe 12 or 13 sprays, which isn't very much for his weight. Uh, so basically I just sprayed him, kind of rubbed it in, sprayed it on my hands, went around his neck and his ears and stuff. And it was funny because when I did that, a couple of the fleas started jumping off and like croaking a little bit. So I'm hoping that helps. And I also got some borax. So anyway, hi guys, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Too, so I'll know his crews by the art. <laughs> Not muddy, super busy. Well, that's good. Hey, I'm sober. I'm sober. <clears throat> I got my contacts. <laughs> I'm sober as a judge myself. Well, if you don't count a couple of drags on a vape, anyway. <laughs> Depends on what's in that vape, I guess. Yeah, that's what the uh, borax is for. Um, we had this issue before at our other house years ago. Uh, you know, just borax the carpet a little bit. Let it set in there, kind of rub it down in or whatever, let it set for a day or two and vacuum up. Kills them off, I guess, pretty good. So, I mean, it helped last time, so. I mean, it's not like an overwhelming amount of stuff that I'm talking about, but I just want to, like, nip it in the bud and keep it down before it gets too crazy, you know? <laughs> And I don't feel like giving a flea bath to a cat right now that hates water and has needles for claws. Uh, uh, well, I probably look pretty good for Halloween, but you know. Shreds shirts. Yes, he has a lot of fur. I, I, I brushed him a couple times after I put that in, too, because it kind of makes his fur kind of oily and stuff. So, I'm hoping it helps. It should. So, technically not, but I'm a lot more sober than <laughs> I likely would be uh, a decade or two ago. That's good, man. Um, took me forever to grow out of drinking like a like a frat boy for the same some reason. <laughs> hey man, at least you're doing good now, brother. Learn from your mistakes, right? Let's see. Let's see if I start some shit. Play your favorite Metallica riff. The new album. Ha! I can't. <laughs> Although it's decent. I mean, I haven't... Yeah, poor Stumps. <laughs> That's the name of the cat, by the way. Stumps. Um, I haven't even got the new Metallica album, to be honest with you. Uh, the songs that I heard were pretty good, you know? And I, I listened to the Howard Stern show when, when uh, you know, Metallica was on there. And um, pretty good stuff, man. Um, a lot of people said, oh, it's lame, you know, it's just... It's old Metallica rehashed and da da da. They're just taking it easy. They're not doing anything creative, whatever. I mean, they, they're an older band, you know? I mean, they came out years and years ago, like a lot of these other guys. Um, but I think pretty good stuff. 
Uh, it's not bad. I think, personally, myself, the Black Album was probably where, where it started sliding downhill just slightly. Um, you know, Fuel came out, or not Fuel, was it Fuel? I can't remember what the album was after that, but uh, it was slower songs, but it was good songs. That's the cool thing. So... fuel then I had the students give me fuel give me fire give me that one time uh what was the one after that was that fuel two or something I don't know yeah they started dying after that oh load and reload that's it yeah thank you load and reload those albums were kind of like really on the uh, downfall and who can forget Saint Anger when was that was that before no, that was, was that after the, the Load and Reload albums, I believe? I can't remember. And, and St. Anger, honestly, sound quality sucked. Uh, bad. But a few of those, Load and Reload, oh shit, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, okay. The sound quality is horrible. Uh, that's about what you get when you listen to my stuff on my playlist. But... Um, some of those songs kind of grew on me after a while. Um, not a bunch, but a few of them did. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but for the most part, and s some of the newer stuff from Metallica isn't bad. Like I said, kind of reminds me of the older stuff. But, um, uh, but yeah, they definitely fell off. Say Anger was the first one without Jason. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's where I fire everybody in the room on a video, right? Get out of here. You don't know what you're doing, right? Wow. Ah, you know, after playing for five hours, I'm getting kind of tired. Yeah, my mother was a witch. She was burned alive. Yep. Classic garage days, right? I'm about the St. Angers in California when it came out in 2003. Hated the snare, but it had some good grief. Right, it did. Uh, if the live DVD had been the album, it would have been better. i never seen the live DVD of it. Um, that'd be kind of something to check out, I guess. Oh, well, I'm not sure Hatfield should have quit drinking, LOL. <laughs> I think it all changed when they all cut their hair. Okay, you know, after um, Injustice for All, uh, before the Black Album. Or no. No, they still had their, they still had their hair in the Black Album, right? It was after the Black Album they cut their hair. I think. Pretty sure. You're welcome, Sue. No problem. 
But yeah, when they cut their hair and they got it, they they ended up getting a new, uh, new everything. They they switched everything up: new amps, new guitars, uh, everything. New producer. It was like what? What? What's going on? <laughs> Where's Metallica? You know, it was just weird. <clears throat> God, still got thirteen people in here, man. Love you guys. Hit that like. Hit the like. Subscribe. Man, share it out. Do whatever, man. Nobody, nobody's gonna watch this when it's over. Who's gonna sit there and go five five hour live stream? I'm gonna watch that. No, you're not. After the black album, yeah, it was just like done. It's when they started teetering, it's like, what's this sound? What's where's the hair? What's going on? Hey, you may have something there. Their power was in the hair. That's right. It was. B? B? What's B mean? Agreed, the hair was... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There I go again. I forgot I dropped E. Sounds horrible. When you play it right, it sounds good. I can't believe I've been on here five hours. Uh, <clears throat> the live DVD was included with the CD. Uh, Robert played bass on the live DVD. Loaded. Load was the haircut. Gotcha. All right. All right. Mr. Dan, we got you. Thank you. Yep. I never listened to the Lulu album. I never have either. And Death Magnetic. I bought that album and I never listened to it. <laughs> I think I bought it because I heard it. I heard a song on Sirius or something. I'm like, whoa! And I never listened to that album. I, I, don't, I couldn't even tell you what Death Magnetic was. Just share the video, not this live stream. I mean, you know, I mean, when it's over, because nobody in their right mind is going to sit here for five hours, uh, unless you're like Dan, chilling out with a whiskey and Guinness, you know, and gummies. <laughs> uh, but yeah, share the video of this uh, awesome, freaking eighty-nine dollar guitar. Uh, Death. Okay, Death Magnetic was better, was it? I'm sure the sound was better, for sure. I mean, I don't know what they were, what kind of studio they had going on back then with that uh, that album. But, uh, you know, St. Anger's was like, what is this? I think that's my first real yawn during this live stream. The Irish in me. <laughs> right? Oh, man. Let me check some stats here real quick. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, 33 likes. That's kind of depressing. I've been here for five, five freaking hours. <laughs> oh, if I'd have been like 40 at least. You could use a shot. Maybe. Need a shot of like uh, the opposite of adrenaline. Like a tranquilizer. Give me a trank. Thanks. Yep, Master of Puppets. That was a great CD. You know, I used to play that. I used to be able to. I used to be able to. But I ain't going to attempt it. I ain't even got it in me, man. Whew. Well, I'm gonna see if I can find 
another race or two on my racing before my need for beauty sleep becomes too desperate. Yeah, I need some beauty sleep. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, hey, thanks for tuning in, buddy. I hope you subscribed. Like I said, I don't remember seeing you in here before. Um, my videos are somewhat uh, different. <laughs> Glad you joined, man. Take care of yourself, brother. Uh, sanitarium was some, yeah. Sanitarium. <laughs> Maybe, yep. Uh, what was the other one? Um. <laughs>
which might go to delay or delay pedal day. Uh, well, I really don't have one, to be honest. Um, there's a lot of good delay pedals out there. Uh, I'm not much, I mean, I, I like delay, don't get me wrong. Um, I, I'm more into, like, kind of a spacey type reverb, phalanger, uh, and chorusing type sounds. Um, this has re reverb built in and delay built in, chorus built in, all that stuff. Like, the setting has it all on it. Um... <laughs> So that's probably what's got me away from a lot of pedals like that because if everything's built in, what do I need to pedal for? Um, so that's kind of a crap thing. But, I mean, I have... We did the Azar uh, Zodiac series. All these little pedals here, when they sent those over to the channel, um, they got some really good reverb and uh, delays and stuff in there. Um, but there's a lot of them. And the more expensive ones you get are even better. Uh, I can't remember. There was a name of one that I wanted to try. God, it's going to kill me. I'm so tired, guys. <laughs> um, I still screw up Star Spangled Banner 2. Thank you, though. Yeah, no problem, brother. We'll do it in our live stream, possibly. Um, I can't remember what the name... It's from... I think it's from New Neighbor. Or New Brew or New Neighbor... I think that was the name of it, man. Wow, it had some awesome spacey type reverb tone. And, or not reverb, I'm sorry, delay tones and stuff. No, actually, I think it was a reverb. I don't know. But there are some awesome ones. Your pinch harmonics are is insane. Thank you, especially on the low E. Yeah, that's, that's my humdinger right there. But I can hit this high one sometimes. <laughs> Takes a little more work sometimes to hit those high ones. Oh my goodness. Oh, you're looking for something for the MT-15? I gotcha. I mean, dude, honestly, a delay is a delay is a delay. A reverb is a reverb is a reverb. You know, it all depends on what you want to pay, but you're going to get that effect in pretty much a cheap pedal or an expensive pedal. The only thing the difference that I think an expensive pedal is going to give you is maybe it has a couple of different options. Um, you know, it might have a couple of different settings. Uh, if you're just looking for a delay in general, you know, anything. I got Behringer pedals that are like 20 bucks. Even like I said, the Azars are like $30. You're going to get a delay that way. Um, as far as a favorite, I don't have one, but, you know, like, like I said, the more expensive ones you're going to get, like, it would have space delay, or it'd have, like, a ambiance delay, you know, just different type settings that give you more of a variety. Um, it just all depends on what you want to pay, you know. Dave, you ever listened to the Def Leppard album? I think it's called Radioactive. Retroactive. I've heard a couple of songs off of it, um... Not bad what I heard. I haven't heard the whole album. Uh, it's pretty cool, though. One of their hardest albums. Yeah, I. Uh, there was one point where I, I was going to order that, and I never did. Um, is that the one that says, or it's got a song called Make Love Like a Man, or something like that? Make love like a man. Or something like that. Maybe it's... <laughs> I hope that's the lyrics. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that, that song was cool, and I can't... There's another one they came out with on that. But yeah, it's, it, that was in my cart at one point on Amazon. It might still be there. Alright guys, we have gone five hours, okay? Uh, I think I produced more than enough entertainment for one night. Uh, I think I'm falling asleep. Alright, Eclipse says, uh, I have a harder time than low E... Uh, the thinner ones are easier for me. Hey, well, let's combine, man. Let's combine, right? 
by the way, maybe you saw I didn't didn't care about SG until last July, so I'm definitely looking at the Leo. Nice. Yeah, I think you're gonna like what I got coming. Really do. Hey, I like this tag right here. I like the tags. Tags are cool. Yeah, stay tuned, man. You're gonna. I think you're gonna dig it. Uh, miss, miss you in a heartbeat with a big hit. Oh yeah, uh, I'm like trying to figure out what you're talking about. <laughs> Adrenalize, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm getting all confused. I do remember hearing some songs off of that though. All right, guys, I am going to cut it here. Uh, thank you guys so much, man. Um, Robert, thanks for sharing stuff out. Guys, if you share stuff out, thank you so much. Thank you for all the likes, all the support, all the love. Check out my uh, merch shop. You know, anything helps, you know, for the channel. I really do appreciate it. That way we keep getting cool stuff. I'll keep trying to reach out to pedal companies. Maybe we get more stuff on here. I do have more pedals over here to do. Um, so, yeah. We'll see you guys very soon. I got another video coming up. I don't know if it'll be up this weekend or not. Uh, we'll see. But uh, yeah, we'll see you guys very soon. Later on. Later. Love you. Bye. Don't forget. It's all about the music. See you guys.